Welcome to America. Oh my God, dude, I'm dead. I'm dead right now. Oh my God, dude, Moro Ronaldo goes, welcome to America. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm dead, dude. Oh my God. That is just way too funny. Oh my God, I'm dying. Dude, Moro Ronaldo, welcome to America! <laughs> oh my God. Daniel Dubois. Oh my God. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. I can't believe how funny that was. I cannot believe how funny that was. Bro, more Ronaldo goes, welcome to America. Like, that was the funniest shit, dude. Oh, my God, dude, I'm dead. Oh, my God, that was funny. We are live. What's up, chat? Hit that like button. What's going on? The first knockdown. We're taking a look back at the first knockdown. Side of the head, front of the head. Right to the right ear. Couple more, a left to the ear, right to the ear. Those combinations at the beginning. Boom, the back of the head. You could art well, side of the head. Right to the back side of the head, which was not the back of the head. I believe. That's the first knockout was like, what dude? Is this guy sick? He just went down. Then he took one right across the chin. Right across the chin, then to the forehead, the body, just nothing there. And then, boom, another one. Just, It's like he's doing these little combos, and then he hits him with a big one. Oh, my God, bro. Third knockdown, one to the side of the eye. Gets a shot, lower ear. That rocked him. Made some contact on the head. Oh, then he got him on the jaw again with the right hand, and that was about it. Bro, when more Ronaldo yelled, welcome to America, I almost died. That greasy fucking... Giuseppe Cusimano, man. Get the fuck out of here, you gold necklace wearing greasy son of a bitch. Like <laughs> Daniel Dubois. Oh my god, bro. Oh. I am dying, bro. That was way too funny. Like, oh, Moro Ronaldo is just so great. That was so fun. I hope you guys hear the clips of that on the Twitter and wherever. Oh, my God. Dynamite Daniel Dubois. I got to get rid of that dynamite shit, though. I'll tell you that. I already know dynamite Danny Miles. Here's Hurricane Ida tearing roof roofs apart. It's getting crazy down Louisiana, man. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody got out of there. I mean, that is some scary stuff, brother. Yo, welcome to America. We got one guy from England, another guy from Greasy somewhere. I don't know. <clears throat> wow. 
That was hilarious. Hey, Dan. What's up, baby? Yeah. Oh, this Italian Kwaman, you know, uh, Kusamano. I mean, like, doesn't get any greasier than that, right? Well, he had the nice gold, and he probably did have the gold chains, like, sitting by. Now, I got to be honest, I'm surprised. I expected a bunch of just job fights tonight, and then I looked at the card, and I was like, oh, there's some people on here I know. That's interesting. And then there's these fights have been weird. Like, this has been a wild night. This has been better than a couple of UFCs ago. I got to be honest, like the boxing, I'm surprised. Are you surprised? Well, they, you did, uh, they did come up with a good card, that's for sure. It's, just, it's, it's sad that it's being highlighted by... Uh... Well, Jake Paul. Yeah, well, you're right. Well, the circus but, is selling the show, you know, so you got to be yeah, happy. Yeah, the fucking circus is selling the show. You couldn't have said it fucking better. But, you uh, know, what do you, I mean, listen, if that if that fight is good and is real, like, I'll be surprised and I will be really. I just, Joe, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see anything that's going to be fucking real about it, honestly. The only way I will believe it's real if Tyrone comes out fucking just banging this dude. That's what I think. I think the same thing. In fact, I'm hoping That's for that. the only fucking way I'm going to believe it. Otherwise, if he's standing there and he's trying to fucking act like he's, you know, trying to distance himself and, you know, fucking be on the defensive before being offensive and all this shit, like, nope, I already don't believe it. Get it out of here. Yeah, I mean, I think that I think that um, a good example of that is the, um, is the Montana Love um, Barachek fight. Because I feel like like that's a fight. It looked like those guys were really trying to fight each other. I mean, Baracek or whatever. He Baracek was like fucking. I think I called him Baracek. Baracek was like, he was all over the place. You know, Mon yeah. like Montana Love was like trying to fight this game plan technical. You know, but like it looked like Ivan was just like going wild. Like he was all he was just all over the place. But it was fun because of that. And you would think Jake Paul's fight with Tyrone Woodley would be fun too, because they're tr they're because Tyrone isn't playing; he's not playing around. He's trying to really knock out Jake Paul, and that's going to force Jake Paul to have to be you know kind of crazy himself. And he likes to get weird in the first couple of rounds, so you would expect a crazy fight, you know. And if it's not one, like you said, and they start dancing around a bunch and shit, you just know that's horseshit. You know, and the and the other thing about it is, if I'm them, I don't think about like, oh, let's, you know, take it easy the first two rounds, make sure we get in a little, you know, like you know, people have done that in boxing, you know, to you know, first round, take it easy, man, you know, it's like no, you don't need to do that. Tonight's already had these have been really pretty fun fights. I mean, I think this show is worth thirty bucks at this point, twenty bucks, thirty bucks. I've got, I feel like if I paid sixty dollars for this, I I got twenty bucks worth of this so far. You know, at least. So that's pretty good. And I don't know. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. If you feel like you're already, uh, you know, like you've um, invested your money well, you know, for yeah. what you've seen so uh, thus far, should I say. Um, but uh, what did you just say that I wanted to comment on? Uh, I said a lot. Barachek's, uh was kind of No, wild. not even all that shit. Not, nothing like that. Like it was just like a fucking minute ago. Um, um, before you got on? No, no, no. Like literally, like while you were talking just now, it was some um, thought. Oh, I said that they said you know Jake and fucking Tyrone. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes they play I around in the I'm first couple rounds. Me. I said, I said sometimes they dance around in the first couple rounds. You know, take it easy, man. So. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's what's gonna be the game changer for me because you make a fucking valid point when you say if they come out. And if they're just going to go to straight banging, that's one thing. If they're dancing around and trying to act like it's a fucking real, quote unquote, legit sanctioned fight, they're going to be doing this fucking distancing and all, you know, playing it calm. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. This is a fucking YouTube child, okay? That's just bringing in a bunch of money for this. I'll give them credit for that, for the sport of boxing because of all the 12 year olds that watch him. But it is such a fucking dishonor to the fucking sport itself 
for him, you know, coming in and doing this. And I hope that Tyrone doesn't fucking play that game because it's like we know Money Mayweather is willing to go that route because he doesn't give a fuck about nothing but money. You know, he's he's been what he he did uh fucking when he in wrestling one time like didn't he fight like the fucking big show or some shit? You know, like yeah, he fought the big he show does random WrestleMania. Shit, makes fucking money. He did the same thing when he fought fucking Logan Paul. And he made it seem like it was so serious the day that Jake took his fucking ball cap off him or whatever at, like, you know, press conference. Uh, but then, like, literally you could see when they came out, like, talking about, like, now it's serious. We're going to kill each other. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> and then you just see that he's just, like, fucking around, like, on a lazy day kind of type of shit. And you're like, man, okay, you fooled me. I'm ignorant for that. You fooled me. Yeah. Because I thought it was going to be real. Obviously, it wasn't. That's what I'm worried about with this. Yep. I really hope this dude doesn't fucking take the dive for money. Well, the only thing I can say is it is possible that some of those early things, I mean, throw you throw Nate Robinson out there, right? You got a pretty good chance against him, and uh, you knock him out. You knock the hell out of him, so you look really good, which is what you wanted. Then you get these other fights, and you know they're sketchy, weird. You know, And it's really to get to this point. So Jake Paul's three and zero right now. Um, this is really it, man. I, I honestly, I kind of, ho- I really do hope that Tyrone Woodley knocks him out. And the reason why I told you this, I is because then I'll be like, shit. You know what? I think this shit was maybe legitimate. You know, and even then, you you wonder if he doesn't. You know, I, I feel like he's in a win win situation. If he knocks him out and wins, he can keep tout. You know, four and zero. Look at what I did. I've done. Uh, and like people are gonna start continuing to watch him at that point because. I, I, they'll want to see what the hell, you know. But if Tyrone Woodley knocks yeah. him out, then then people can, you know, I mean, then he's three and one, and you can, and you know, there's a chance he's got a soft spot, and then maybe take it more. People take it more legitimate these fights, and then he's got a comeback fight after that, and then he needs to win that one. Now, if he loses that one, now it's kind of like your career is, you know, this whole gimmick that he's doing is kind of over. If he loses this fight, fine, but if he loses another one. Like that's the thing right there. If he goes three and two, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because if he loses this one, okay. But if he can fucking set up some bullshit for the next one, right? Then it's going to continue. I mean, this kid has got the audacity to say that he sees himself in the next two years fighting fucking Canelo Alvarez. Like, are you serious, bro? All right. Well, like, what? Okay. Let's say. L- shut up. Let's say the fight's going what, like pretty good for our standards. Like we believe if we, we're believing the fight. They're really punching each other. You know, they're taking shots. Logan, uh, Jake Paul gets knocked down. Like, he gets waffled. He gets knocked down. And you and me, you know, me and you were watching. We're saying, damn, that was, I mean, that was a real shot. Like, he's fucking hurt. Like, that was crazy. And he gets knocked down. And he, and he ends up, you know, they, he ends up winning and knocking down Tyrone. You know, at the, that's the best case scenario. Because then he looks like a badass. It looks fully real. And we believe it 100%. And all the detractors, you know, what will you think then? Will you... Will you look at this at the end possibly and say, wow, maybe this, you know, maybe this shit was all real? Because, I mean, that was crazy. I mean, honestly, really, I can't, dude. I can't. I know the kid is training a lot. He's working with a lot of good fucking people. He's, he's got great camps. Um, a lot of fucking big names that he's uh, had fucking training with. But I still don't think, I mean, he's just too young and just coming out too fresh. There's no way, like, you can't sell me on this shit, man. Like, I'm sorry. Like, call what? me a fucking hater. I don't give a fuck. All what? I know is, is whenever I used to think I was such a fucking badass when I was younger, so I could beat everybody up in the street. And the first time I stepped into an MMA gym, because a friend of mine told me, hey, man, you want to fight so bad? Why don't you fucking do something with it? Like, for real. And then people fucking 40 pounds less than me are whipping my ass. I'm like, okay, I get it. You know, like... I, and this is just not selling to me like it. But I mean, like, let's here's the one thing. And I've been like you. I've been skeptical of what's going on here, too. But I mean, the people that he has fought, I mean, he knocked out a basketball player who never. Yeah. Know, like, I mean, I mean, who the fuck is that? OK, he fucking plays basketball. Like, that's not that's nothing to me. Well, that but that's what I'm saying is like, you know, and, maybe it's not that it's a, it's not that they're fi- it's not that they're working in the ring in the fight. It's just that they picked a perfect situation. I mean, Ben Askren like was like a 
Like he was, he's the biggest suspect, right? That fight is the biggest suspect. For one. sure, biggest suspect. For sure, everything else is understandable that he he won, and you understand why he won. But that, yeah, the Askren fight is the one where we're like, you know, hey, like that's a little bizarre. Like that guy needed money because he lost. He fucking got in deep with the mob or something. That guy was like, yeah, I'll fucking just knock me out or whatever. I mean. He had some debts to fucking pay real quick. Yeah, like, like, what was the first guy he beat? Was it uh, e, uh, Ali Eason or something like that? He was the first guy or whatever that guy's name was. I don't remember. I don't uh, yeah, there you, the, there you go. There you go. I don't know. Who, that, who is that guy? I don't even know that guy. That's uh, KSI's teammate. That's right. Okay, so who? The, so he's a nobody fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then then he beat Nate Robinson, who was a Celtic, a Boston Celtic basketball player. Who was like, yeah, it'd be fun to get in there. And he's like smaller, doesn't have the reach of Jake. And then he beat Ben Askren, who's like on crack. So those are the three people that he beat. So this is big right here, Tyrone Woodley. If Tyrone Woodley looks at all like a bitch in this, I'm fucking fully suspect. I'm fully suspect. I expect. I seriously expect Jake Paul to lose this fight within the first three rounds. I swear to God, if that doesn't happen, I'm already sus right there. Even if it fucking goes three, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Because fucking Tyrone's a fucking monster, bro. Like, he will fucking throw hands all fucking day. Right. Even if it goes three rounds, it's like, shit, that that was too long. Like, were y'all just dragging the fans along because they paid the fucking money to watch this shit? Yeah. Like, I would really feel like Tyrone fucking would finish him off in three rounds just because of uh, the sake of fans and someone told him behind the fucking scenes, hey, bro, drag it out just a little bit so people can get a, you know, a bird's eye view of this fucking garbage. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, I mean, I'll be other suspect. Than that, I mean, what, there's just absolutely fucking no way. There's just no way, man. Yeah. I Plus, Tyrone's 39. He's like out of his prime. Who is? Tyrone? Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, he's 39, he's almost 40. I mean, Jake, I mean again, Jake Paul has the youth, obviously it's ridiculous. A four, almost 40-year-old's facing, you know, a 20 what? 6-year-old Jake Paul. How old is Jake 24. Paul? 24. 24. What? Wait, Jake Paul's 34? 24. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I'm like, what the hell? Um, so 24, I mean, yeah. I mean, isn't it Jake Paul's like in the beginning of his like his male body is is just starting, you know, what I mean, is couple years left and his his will be fully man you know what i mean that man body takes over around yeah. you know 21 to 25 somewhere in there you start you know really becoming the big size man you will be like these guys who are 19 and 20 and 18 they can't you know they don't have the the bulk and the muscle capabilities of a 25 26 27 year old and then you and then your bones and body start breaking down around after 35 and after so it's like he does have that going for him, but I just don't, man. I don't know. Tyrone. Yeah, still. I'm, the dude's in too good a shape. Yeah, okay, people bring up the fact that, you know, Tyrone's getting older. He lost his last couple of fights or whatever. Well, that was fucking MMA, not boxing. MMA is a whole other fucking ball game. You got to take into consideration the fact that when you step into a cage with somebody, it's not about just <clears throat> throwing fucking hands. You have to know if they're going to fucking kick you or knee you or fucking elbow you or try to wrestle you on the ground. Like, that's totally different. So that shouldn't even be like something that people should bring up with this guy when he's just going to be in a ring literally throwing hands only with this. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and I know that. I mean, listen, people were saying Jake Paul was fake during his second fight against Nate Robinson. And, I mean, people actually, dude, a lot of people were picking Nate Robinson. And then Jake Paul just destroyed this guy. And so, like, you know, it's just I people always pick against Jake Paul. But it's like, so it is kind of funny that a lot of people pick against him, even though some people think it's rigged or some people don't know whatever. But he's been picked against by a lot of people. You're At least I respect Danny because you believe, you think it's all just horse shit. But, like, but like yeah. people that... Other people that are like, oh, every, every fight Jake Paul has, they're like, yeah, he's going to get knocked out. Watch what happens. Well, he's won three. Now, now, if you tell me you think it's illegitimate, that's a different story. We can talk about that. But those are people who believe it's legitimate. And they're saying, you know, oh, I think Nate, you know, Nate's going to knock him out. I think, 
you know, uh, this guy's going to knock him out. I think, uh, you know, Ben Askren's going to definitely knock him out. Oh, Ben Askren's going to kill this guy. This is going to be great because finally he's fighting a real guy or whatever. And Ben Askren looks like a corpse. You know, <laughs> the, I mean, that looked ridiculous. Right. So, I, you know, I don't know. I give, I do give Jake Paul respect in that, I mean, listen, that wasn't fake that he knocked out Nate Robinson. You know, I mean, maybe they could have, you know, if you want to argue someone got paid off to take a shot, I don't know, dude. He took two. You know, the guy got knocked out twice. And the first time, he probably shouldn't have been in the fight anymore. And then he came back. Then he got knocked out again. And now we're getting some women. Here come the women, man. This is weird. And they're coming on. But how many more fights are there, actually? There's a... Uh, there's um, we got there's only two. Amanda Serrano. That's right now, and that yeah, that's it. So did you, wait the Jake Paul fights after this fight done? This this mm -hmm. this this matches up, and then the Jake Paul. Yeah, we saw everything else. The Montana Love fight was my favorite of the night, though. That was fun. I had a blast. Yeah, that was a good fight. That see, that's how that's a little bit how I would expect the Jake Paul fight to be. You know, that these guys are coming out and just, you know, wailing. Like, Jake Paul's going to have to protect himself. And and the reach is very equal. We brought that up the other day. This is, like, the closest reach. The arm size is close. Yeah, what is it? I believe he's got a, he's got a one-inch uh, one one, one uh, reach advantage. Yep, Jake Paul has both. one inch on him, just barely one inch. And, I mean, again, the, the size of the arms are similar. You know, Nate Robinson was much smaller than Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. If if I remember, like somebody could look that up, but man, he got, that was scary how he got knocked out. So, I mean, I give Jake Paul, he's got, he has a technique, man. He really does. But it's, this is, this means a lot to me, this fight. I, if I'll yeah. ever watch him again, if this is it. If this isn't good and doesn't make sense, I'm done with boxing. Cause it's. Uh, pe people will take him seriously if he knocks out Tyron Woodley. If he knocks him out and it seems pretty legit, and it's, I mean, I will. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. I'll be like that. You know what? That was crazy. But then again, I mean, it's got to be like fucking straight up, like really looking legit. Because if it's anything yeah. fucking suspect on that, like anyone that's like, oh, now I'm gonna give him a lot of respect. I'm gonna just be like, man, fuck you, dude. Yeah, not if it, not if it's it looks like. Up. What's wrong? Yeah, Plus, he's never been passed like. Uh, the second round in his pro pro boxing career, like Tyron Woodley, been in five rounds wars. That's true. Tyrone has gone the fucking distance multiple times, you know. And the dude is shredded. Like, okay, at weigh-ins, man. Like, I, I guess it doesn't really make that big of a difference, but at the same time, it does. You know, like Jake's looking all fucking like, just kind of like loose and fucking. All right, he's a, he's in okay shape. Tyrone looks like he's fucking ready to kill someone. I don't see this at all being something that's like it's gonna be like a fucking battle. Like he's really gonna have to fucking try. If that shit happens, I'm immediately fucking gonna be like suspect, suspect for sure. They already been ac accusing Jake Paul on uh, for taking PEDs because this uh, match. This boxing match is not uh, tested. Right. It's not like tested. Or whatever. So, yeah, he very well could be fucking juiced to the gills right now. Who knows? Um, we all watching you know that means. You all have it on? Yeah. Okay. Just wondering where y'all are at because I'm looking at the rules right now. Good talk, Argus. Um, oh, fuck you, Danny. <laughs> we'll do some more goddamn. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Adrenochrome. I don't fucking know. Adrenochrome. Jesus Christ. Well. I want to see these two I... girls go at it. The ring girls. Mm. Ring girls? These are professional boxers. I don't know. The ring girls. They're hot. Oh. Are you calling these professional boxers ring girls gargots? No, the, the ring, the actual shit. ring girls with makeup, not these dudes in the ring. Dudes. <laughs> God, so can, Joe, kick this motherfucker off. <laughs> Joe, like right now. 
<laughs> All right, Danny, I'll see, I'll see you when I go to Houston, and then I'm going for a steak. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You got to go fucking take Joe to a steak dinner first, and then you bring your ass to Houston and catch this fucking smoke. <laughs> And then we're going to the strip club. <laughs> Yo, who's uh, the one that I was telling you about, the Toronto? one, the BYOB one. Oh, yeah, that BYOB one. Oh, Fuck. Fucking poor guys. They got kicked out of there. Oh, oh yeah, totally you kidding. lit that joint. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking rolled up a fucking fatty, let them motherfuckers at it, and they got kicked out. And I acted like I didn't know what was going on. What? What? Those people were smoking marijuana? Jeez. What losers. The fucking goddamn bouncer just went back to the to the back and smoked it. Probably, yeah. He took it, the piece of shit. Yeah, I didn't see him throw it away. When we used to do uh, um, security and shit for concerts, we would do the exact thing. We'd have a pull at the end and see who fuck got more, and we'll all share it. Mm. Dude, 40 fucking wins? Jesus Christ. She, what? She got 40 wins. Damn it. CM fan saying Tyrone is scared of Jake Paul, just like Mayweather. Man, That's are you fuck. being serious, or are you just trolling? No, they're trolling. Definitely trolling. Definitely fucking got to be trolling to say something bullshit like that. Because it's funny. Like, it's funny hearing uh, boxers <laughs> talk shit to MMA guys when they know they're going to get, they would <laughs> fucking whoop their asses. Yeah. Bitches be real. Oh, that's what that was. It was me. I had to do it. Uh, my, I, I left because the kids were fighting upstairs. Speaking of boxing, they're having a boxing match up in Gavin's room. Yeah, fucking itis. Of course, they're fucking fighting upstairs. Yep, uh, Gavin was choking Brenna, and uh, Brenna was punching him in the stomach. <laughs> so it was a lovely. <laughs> and uh, Finn came downstairs with a tablet in his hand, and uh, he's playing a game. And he tell he goes to me. Blood on his knuckles. Yeah, we got a we got an emergency upstairs, Daddy. Brenna is being a <laughs> maniac, and Gavin's fighting her. And I come up, and he's choking her like like Homer Simpson would choke Bart. And she's punch and she's punching him like like one, two, three, four, like in his belly, and he's going, Whoo! And like I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh. dude. Oh damn. Yo, okay, where is the fight started for y'all yet? Yep, yep, yep. One minute and twenty one seconds left in the round, one of ten. Yeah, we're at 138. This shit is crazy. Is it Mercado? Y'all ahead of me. What the fuck? Is it Serrano? Mercado? Serrano and Mercado? Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at the flag. I would have known that if I looked at the flag. Hopefully the kids don't fight again. They ain't getting... <laughs> I was going to bring... We're going to get ice cream tomorrow. I was like, this ain't happening. You keep this up. And then they all gave each other a hug and then got some milk and they went away. There's a, br there's a, there's a brawl about it every day in the house, you know? Yo, just bribe <laughs> his kids with ice cream. Every day, just <laughs> throwing hands. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin is strong. The other day he tried. He I, 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 okay. So I, I he we let him stay up late because it's the end of the summer. Wow! Did you see that shot, Mikado? Just she threw this left over like Ooh. yeah over the top left hand wild no look shot that if it landed she like she would have won the fight but like it looked ridiculous because she wasn't looking. That was crazy. No, I don't think I've seen it yet. Wait, oh, okay. no, Drew Bar, man. It is not weirdly. I feel the same way. Serrano is fucking hot, like in her own way, for yeah. sure. Would would blast. Would blast. Those kids be throwing hands. Jorge Rubio, what's up, SA? Damn, at least you could. I, I, it may, it's probably my fault with all the wrestling stuff every second. Chicks are better at boxing than that last guy. Yeah, you, I, you got a point. They, their form or technique, at least that they're doing, yeah. their footwork and form is better. You're right, or at least you're right. But the other guys were big and shit too. They have a different style of. Dude, that know. guy threw up his hands like a girl. Ah. 
Yeah, that well, he knew he, he he knew he was screwed at the end. I mean, he was done. He was like, "Oh my god!" Like you could, he he kept waiting to the count of nine every time. Like he didn't know that guy was a wreck. What's up, guys? What up, Derek? Uh, it's sixty bucks for the pay per view, I believe. If you buy it, uh, so far I think this has been worth twenty five bucks. Like, which is not bad. <laughs> that I mean, that's not bad. It's usually it's it's like, oh, this is a big waste of money. This has been something, you know. This has been. It's been kind of nice. It's been, I'll you know, it's been better than a couple of UFCs I've ordered before, and boxing doesn't always go that way. So it's yeah. so you gotta be really. You feel boxing. like you're so far getting your money's worth. Yeah, a little bit. I feel entertained. Like let's put it that way. I feel entertained right now. And if I get a if we get a knockout in that last in the last fight here, and it's oh, we better fall. Oh, bro, dude, if I see Jake Paul get rocked and just f- collapse like a fucking crash test dummy. I will jerk off to the sixty dollars that this was worth. For real, oh, shit. I'll have to hang up because I'm gonna be too fucking loud and obnoxious. I'll have to fucking hang up. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I can't wait for the man. Oh man, you don't even know. I'm not even gonna get into it. It's already getting me fucking. It's already making yeah. my wiener hard. So. <laughs> I already clipped that thing you said yesterday. That was hilarious. Was, what the what? What the fuck did I say? You no, said, don't. I made you say like my sloppy dick something or other. Oh, something penis about dickle. like yeah, pee in yeah, my dickle. About your dick. tiny dickle. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. There's donations that have come in too. Let me just uh, blah 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 blah. Let me uh see. Uh, the dono link is on. Actually, it's just one, but I it's a big one, sort of. Ooh. Well, I mean, it's a big one. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Let me see. Big enough. A lot of girth. Well, it's a big one for me sitting here, you know, doing a boxing stream on Jake Paul. Let's put it that way. Yeah, look at fucking Cronin coming around, getting into combative fucking sports. I feel like it's just like, um... Fecal matters on the floor. Fecal matters on the floor. Fecal matters on the floor. I've never heard this one. <laughs> Fecal matters on the floor. It's okay. <laughs> That's gross. OG JD Venom. They're already going to the Jake Paul jumping jacks. Jake Paul's boxers are digital with his name on it. What the fuck is that? Mauro should have Nigel join in one time only for one of these fights. It would be legendary also as well. I Did agree. you see Woodley called Paula Culture Vulture? Jake Paul was left speechless. It's hilarious if you didn't see it. Oh, my God. Let's go. I got to go find that. JD Venom. Is that up somewhere? Please tell me it is. I don't like all the bullshit virtue signaling SJW shit for Tyrone Woodley. You know, I do like Jake Paul in some ways, even though he's a prick. But I do want to see him get knocked out. That would be great. Yeah, I would actually. I was just talking I, about easier. Would, I'd actually out. respect him more if he gets knocked like full blown, just like fucked up, and you know hangs in there and then gets fucked up and loses bad. I'd actually weirdly have more respect for him. I'd be like, all right, this guy is legit, man. He knocked some people out, then he got fucked up. Like that's, I don't know. That's what, that's what me. Can you say though at the same oh, time give me some t- that if if that were to happen tonight. You wouldn't shit, still question mom. maybe the fact that like this time you he needed to fucking throw one. Oh, shit, or I would fucking... still yes, I always still question everything. I'm still gonna question fucking everything, no yeah. matter what happens. Well, you could even say that they worked certain things obviously, but to get to this point, and then they had to make it. You know, then they had no choice but to keep it real at this point. So you know, he built up the circus off of horse shit, but then had to have a real fight. I mean, you could bring, you could say that. You know, so I get yeah. that too. I don't necessarily trust every anything so but you know we're not dumb we all know wrestling so much too it's like it's hard to you know work us over on a lot of these things but um you know i just i i will definitely feel better if he gets waffled as opposed to he just beats tyrone woodley tonight like he did ben Askren. i'm gonna be like what i mean you get you know you can get lucky or get whatever on ben Askren, and maybe one other guy but you're telling me every time this guy lines up a guy who's you know what I mean? Like a prolific person, like he beats them. But the other thing is like, okay, well, what's the next thing that he can do? The next, the only thing left to do is fight KSI. 
<laughs> like or somebody who's like 28, you know, not 40. True, true. But it's like I think I said this yesterday and I don't know if it was on your show or if it was somewhere else. Um if fucking Okay, no. Let me let me uh start over. Okay, so the whole Ben Askren thing, right? Mm-hmm. Dude throws like it was a straight cross, but I looked at it as so like it just looked like a fucking silly jab, and quote unquote knocks Ben out. I fucking highly suggest anyone who fucking thinks that fight was in s- just fucking smidge of fucking real. I fucking highly fucking advised you to go watch Ben Askren when he fought fucking Robbie Lawler. Four yeah. ounce glove, full on fucking pounding the fucking shit out of each other. And then Ben fucking wins by submission. And he's all blushed up. He's like, Dana, is that the best you got? You can tell me the 16 ounce glove kid is going to knock him out. Come on. My bad, yeah. No, you're right. At the very least, Ben Askren didn't try. No, not at all. J.D. Venom again! Malarkey. I tagged you in two tweets, Joe. Check them out. Nice. Woodley had the kids speechless. It's so damn funny. Oh, my God. I can't wait to go watch this. So, Ben... <laughs> well, because he can't say anything, too. He probably knows. If this guy came at him with some white guy woke type stuff, Jake Paul knows in the climate of things. He's like, I can't talk. I'm a white guy. He, like... It's <laughs> like... it's like you No, know, I'm serious. Like, it's like he's part of the generation of the cancel culture shit. So, he knows, like, oh, I, I can't speak. That's probably what happened. Like me, I probably would have spoke. But like somebody 25 and under probably was like, "Uh uh-oh, black guy says this, I can't speak. You know what I mean? Like So like he probably has been trained and conditioned to not speak if a black guy brings up the race thing like that, that, oh, I just take this. I'm supposed to just take that. You know, so like he just shuts his mouth. I'm just guessing, though. I don't know. We haven't seen this clip or whatever. Uh, but but I do have Tyrone Woodley winning though. I got him, man. I got. I swear to God, man. We'll see what uh, happens. My my money's all on that dude. I mean, it doesn't I, even I matter, right? Up. It's does it, it the match doesn't matter, right? It's an exhibition. Well, it's it, an exhibition. But they all are. They're all. But it, it's an exhibition. But what what do you, what does that mean? Because Jake Paul is three and zero. So if if he wins the exhibition, he's four and zero, right? It, right. I mean, he has. A, he, here it is. These are like exhibition fights, but they're like. He speaks like it's counting on his record, like he's, you know, already three and zero and all blah blah. Like, dude, if you're just gonna fight joke ass fights like your brother did yeah. with fucking Mayweather, okay, you yeah, realize yeah, that well, isn't a fucking statistic fucking point for you. You know, like it, it was just something to entertain the crowd. I think the point is that like bo- the boxing world doesn't really recognize it is the point I suppose right I guess that's all it is like it's not sanctioned by you know any I don't know I don't know what that means I know what an exhibition usually means it's like we're having a fucking it doesn't count on the record yeah like it doesn't count on right. any official like, boxing you can bring record back some old schools like okay, what like, AEW instance, does with the with the lights fucking, off match uh, right? What's called uh fucking uh Mike Tyson in uh when he fought um what's his name? Uh Buster Douglas and got his ass whooped. Now who why am I drawing a fucking blank dude on a fucking straight legend that he just fought again? Uh here not Oh, talking. Holyfield uh Holyfield fucking no. uh uh why the fuck am I drawing that blank dude? Anyways, the last Tyson fight. Yeah, like, okay, that's exhibition. It means nothing for either of their records. That was literally just something for the fans to see. That's an exhibition, like, you know, like, uh, yeah. well, usually, it's all about the fucking fans and the fucking cash. It's, it's not about, like, actually trying to pursue 
uh, career again and try to move up the rankings and all that. Right. Um, that was it. That, that's what this bullshit is. Just to see if he could go. And goddamn, Tyson could still go. Um, let's hear this video. Let's see what this is. Bust down. Let me ask you a question. Since you're answer so my question. Since you're so I'm from Ferguson. I answer. How many people in your neighborhood yeah. dress like you? How many rap videos have you watched? Exactly. How many? How, huh, 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 culture. That's what I am. I lived it. Sure. They're rapping about my lifestyle. You a mm -hmm. fucking joke. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to vouch from it. Since you're and come so Sunday, you know what's going to happen? Line. You're going to get hit with a whole bunch of culture. Mm -hmm. And your whole jawline going to shift that long jawline, probably from PEDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> probably from PEDs. Cody Fullen and Thurston Kenyon. Thank you. Yes, it was Roy Jones Jr., by the way. Oh, Roy that, Jones oh yeah. Jr. Lloyd Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Oh my God, man, that was hilarious. With that long ass jawline, probably from PEDs. <laughs> oh God, the levees failed in Jefferson Parish, or whatever the hell, catastrophic flooding. Oh, we knew that was gonna happen. Yep, we knew that was gonna happen. We reinforced them from Katrina. Oh yeah. Did you? Well, guess what? Ida's a better bitch than Katrina. You know what? I God, I don't know. Better go back to the drawing board on that fucking outline. He said they were gonna make like these floating cities out there in the outskirts of of um where the levees are, and I was like, oh, that won't be a disaster. Yeah. See a fucking whole city tumble down real quick. It's weird. Like I said, man, I, I, I like I, there's a part of me that likes Jake Paul. I hate Jake Paul and I like him at the same time in a weird way, but I hate him. Um, but I just Tyrone Woodley is real. I mean, he just is yeah. he not a real. Yeah. He's just him. Like Jake Paul is a goof entertainer. Tyrone Woodley is for real. So I I want to I think Tyrone Woodley is going to kill him tonight. I I don't know. I'll you be, see his promo that I just, just like listening to that. We just heard that. That was nuts. Yeah. You just shit on him. Like I think there's another one too. Hold <laughs> on, Here's, there's another Wait. clip. Oh, I don't know where it is though. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna dial this thing up here. Oh, here it is. JD Venom, thank you. This is the other part of it that we missed. Let's see. Not caring about fighter pay. Do you want to respond to that? Yeah, I mean, ask any fighter on the card. This is all their biggest payday of their careers by far. Ask Amanda Serrano. Ask Charles Conwell. Ask Tyron Woodley. Ask you know, these nuts. Or God, you want to be putting on an act. You're so bad, you ass fucking faggot. Dude, ass these <laughs> nuts. He said that. I thought they. I thought Barstool put that over it to be funny. But he said, ass these nuts. Woodley. Ass you these know. nuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro, dude. Tyrone Woodley is great. This is, dude. dude, this is better than WWE. These guys sitting down at the table and Jake Paul being like, ask them, ask the biggest payday they ever got. Like, oh my God, bro, this is. Jake Paul, he fucking talks shit all goddamn day. And then when he, when somebody can out talk shit him, he just like acts like a little white boy. That's what it is. Wait, he you, ain't hood, he ain't tough. Well, you got a problem with white boys, you Hispanic fuck? No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm, yes. just, I'm just joking. Yeah, no. what's up? What's fucking wrong with a fucking white race, you piece of fucking shite? <laughs> What the fuck you oh, saying? Sorry. We got the Soviet do you, Union. Do you here, understand sorry. that I am English? I am Irish. I am Scottish. I am Scandinavian. I am Italian. I am yes. all the. I am the worst of the worst. My what eyes. You got, do you understand, uh, Garguts, that my eyes say I will. I will take your land and think I own it for some reason. <laughs> do you understand? Okay. Well, don't you understand? That's Mexicans will still live off of it. Part talking. <laughs> Right on. That's a. I will conquer your shit, brother, dude. I've I have been raped and conquered by myself for years. <laughs> like I'm so Irish and Scottish, and I've got so much Viking stuff going on too that like I've raped and conquered myself for generations. So, like it's like you, like, you know how oh, fucked that, up I am. That two percent Chad doesn't add on to anything. I, uh, no, no, it's zero. It's like zero point three percent from Chad Africa. I'm zero point three percent African. Do you understand that? And I'm from the whitest African country there is. Chad. Chad. 
Somebody's like, somebody's like, where? You? Oh wow, you got some African in you, Joe. I can't even believe that. I'm like, oh, yeah, me neither. It's like a sliver of nothing, but it, it's actually on the register. I've never seen another white person I know with with any African anywhere. I never see that. I, I have some. Oh yeah, where are you from? Like Zimbabwe or like Nigeria or somewhere? Chad. Chad. Who, yeah. who the fuck is yeah. Chad? My name's Chad. Like I'm from the whitest African place you could be from. Like I'm point. 20- Two percent fucking uh, from uh, Sudan and Nigeria. Right. Where the fuck wow. did that come in? That is Sudan? weird. But Chad, that's like. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, the only thing I can think is that like British colony was at out- least too. It's like a white name place, right? You know. Well, Chad, that's what I'm saying. Is like, well, what if there's a br- <laughs> what if a British colony has been there for like 300 years or something? So it's actually that. Yeah, I am. I do have family history DNA there, but it's white. <laughs> like it's more more conquering British assholes. That's got to be what it is. I can't the be any of assholes are killing fucking people. Yeah, the word the bad Britain. That's okay because now all their families that now have owned things out there are getting like destroyed and like burned and like tortured. If you're a and white COVID. guy, if you're a white guy with a mansion in South Africa, you better have a good security team. It's crazy out I there. I know that's right. I Shit. mean, they're coming after people. Like we owe the, we own this, like type of thing. Wait, so. they are. Fuck. Oh yeah, you haven't seen South Africa recently? It's fucking crazy. Oh, no. dude, they'll, they'll carry you, they'll carry you out on the street and cut you to pieces. Or I'm like. sorry, I just don't like get on YouTube and be like, oh, let's see what's going on in South Africa today. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I mean, neither do I. But it, you know, you go down the fucking the rabbit hole. I go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Like today, I was going down the rabbit hole. I didn't even know. They were accusing Bill Clinton of killing that guy. Which guy? I mean, which one? Uh, uh, what was his Foster? Oh. He was like one of his friends for like forty-one years, and uh, uh, he was on the View talking about it. And they you made- were in Foster Care, like Dave Rose. That's funny. Remember when? Uh, remember when Norm McDonald was on the View telling them that Bill Clinton kills people? Yeah, that's what he, that's what I was talking about. He's like, hey, I got murdered a guy. Yeah, the guy murdered a guy. Don't you know that? All right, that's enough. That's not funny. That's a what? <laughs> he's like, I thought, I thought this yeah, was common knowledge. Going. It was common knowledge that Bill Clinton's a murderer. Don't you know that? Like, and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then he, they go, she goes, Barbara Walter goes, tell us about your Bill Clinton story. He goes, oh, well, Bill, you know, he's never been accused of anything. <laughs> well, literally, he didn't know then, but you know what I'm saying? He goes, yeah, he's never been accused of murder. It's like, oh, dude, this fucking gold. Who gives a fuck about what's going on in Africa unless you live there? I mean, yeah. I mean, well, who ge- yeah, okay, he's got a point. <laughs> eh. no. Who gives a shit about what's going on in anywhere maybe unless you live there, I guess? Mm-hmm. Look at Louisiana. We're looking at that pretty closely tonight. Goddamn hurricanes blowing people to shit right now. Louisiana, Do we know anybody in Louisiana? Fucking shit stick and dude, like yeah. fucking hurricanes and stuff. It oh smashes that place all the time, and they all come over here. Oh, this is just taking hits. What the fuck, dude? What are we looking at right now? The oh, we were looking at the fight earlier. I was like, what the hell's going on? Mm. This guy was just taking hits. Um, yeah, yeah, I. Do we know anybody that lives in fucking... Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people all over the place down there. I haven't really reached out to anybody or talked to too many people. I mean, the whole fucking coast, man. Georgia, Florida, all those people, too, in Texas. Maybe we'll kill YR. I mean, I don't know. I got got a good friend that I talked to that's... I mean, she's okay. She's in New Orleans right now. Uh, She's a big YouTuber or whatever. I'm not going to say her name or anything but um she's Venus. actually doing well right now they're okay so who your grandmother no not my grandma man you who? grandma my grandma is living with jesus now wait, oh i was like wait, this, wait a minute who do you know your friend yeah a friend she's a big uh fucking youtuber she um oh okay like was, is that not your girlfriend your friend no 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 not girlfriend no 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 my girl fuck no she wants nothing to do with social media like that all she does is want to post pictures of herself all day fucking to get like a thousand fucking likes from from fucking dudes because she's fucking hot like on snapchat oh that's right yeah bird lives down there well bird hates me so he can go to hell he's a double talking piece of shit yeah bird uh, 
Did the hurricane hit like Ed Adler's house or something? <laughs> yeah, no, he died earlier, unrelated. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking heart disease hit him. Oh shit. No, I don't know. Rubio. My queen is family in Louisiana. What uh part of Louisiana, man? Is it the coastal area, or are you talking about like up in fucking uh, Lafayette and shit? Because of course, then your family's fucking fine. Man, we're in round eight with these women too, man. They're going all the way. I'm gay. Do you like gay? I love gay. Are you? Might be the best name ever to sub to the channel. Suicide Slush Puppy. That's hot. <laughs> oh, I got to pee. I'm going pee pee. I got to pee pee. Piss. I never thought I'd hear all three of those words. Suicide, slush, and puppy. Right next to each other. And again, I'm not going around. Hey, what am I going to think about? What am I going to hear today? Then again, I don't think anybody would. I mean, who wouldn't want to see a suicide slush puppy? Whatever that fucking is. Oh, so who won right now? Here we go. Can you see it? Dan oh, you're not even watching it, Danny. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm watching it right now. Oh. Uh, I thought you were, like, in your backyard for some reason. In my backyard, or balcony, or whatever the fuck it is. Your balcony yeah, yard. I have a balcony too. No, I'm not. What? Why did you think that? Am I having like feedback or something? It sound like I'm outside. Uh, cause uh, no, cause I I heard it sounded like you're outside for a second. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. Cause I'm asking like honestly, like, it, does it sound like I got like shitty feedback or something? So I can rectify that problem. No. Nah. But it does sound like you're eating. I'm like, damn, motherfucker. Yeah, no, I'm 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 munching on my almonds, man. I'm getting my protein. Oh yeah. Damn this Serrano fucking they're going at it right here. Oh, they're scissoring. They're scissoring in the middle of the ring. Or <laughs> Ronaldo whipped out his dick. He said, Mamma Mia. I'm hoping Tyrone whoops Jake Paul's ass. You know what? This is what I was going to say that earlier, Jake Paul was doing that promo vignette and he was, he was saying, yeah, I just, I just want to show all the doubters, you know, or I'm going to show all the doubters up or something. I was like, nobody doubts you. They just fucking hate you. So right. <laughs> I was like, he got a bunch of haters. Yeah, Everybody fake, wants to see you knock out. That's why the, like, this is the most, like, nobody watches these things to fucking see him win. They watch him to fucking see him get knocked out. And when he doesn't get knocked out, everybody's like, oh, this shit was rigged. Because, you know, he's, I don't know. What do you, do you think he's like a good boxer or anything? I don't know. No. I don't even think he's. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There's always room for improvement. So since the first time I saw him box, he definitely did improve. But then I keep getting him and his fucking brother mixed up. So I'm just like, which one's which? Like his brother is the one that fought Mayweather, right? Yeah. See, mixed up. Oh, Mercado. Mercado is. Oh shit! Damn, this girl's bleeding from the cheek. Her ass beat. She fucking beat her cheek in. She broke her fucking bone, cheekbone probably too. She's menstruating from the cheek? Dude, she, she cut a new vagina into her cheek. Mm -hmm. she got the new axe wound. That shit is looks crazy. It's like you can't bandage that up. You can't put wax on it. What they, can you do? They put, yeah, like heavy Vaseline. But now. Vaseline right there to close it up? Yeah. Oh, this, 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 this fucking sucks, talking shit! It was legit. I it was a good fight. What con huevos mexicana? Is that his wife? Is that her wife? Is that is that? I don't even understand what's going on there. 
Eman84, I totally agree with you. He says, Garguts causing me to have brain cancer listening to him. I feel like I have oh brain cancer too, bro. Cool. Well, <laughs> we're still going. Hi, right, bitch. I, I, was, die. I was like, dude, if I miss the end of this fight, you got to be kidding me. And they didn't. Eman, I'll, I'll acknowledge you when you stop uh... blowing me. Mm hmm. Mr. All Days Off says, stick a tampon in that wound. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. She punched her right in the hole. Oh, she is. Oh. They, man, they're rough after this. They've been. Stick Ooh. a tampon in the Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Serrano. Man, they're going at it. Is Serrano bleeding from the ear? Or is she just red there? She might just be red. Oh, man. Merc Mercado. How do you say her last name? Mercado. 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 Yeah, Mercado. Mercado. Ask the Mexican. Yeah, don't ask me. I'm She's going sure. down. Mercado's got to be. She's been getting waffled. I'm going with Serrano here. Yeah, Serrano's got. That's why I was like 40 fucking wins. It's ridiculous. I almost Mercado feel like. Serrano Pepper. Mercado's got like this crazy like throw that she has, but she keeps missing. She doesn't hit it. She's missed. She throws this I feel wild like this girl right. can. Ooh, but whoa, Serrano whoa, whoa. can take a fucking punch. Ooh, oh, my damn. God, dude. She just got rocked there. Serrano caught her on the jaw, and then again, her mouth's bleeding everywhere. I think Mercado gets hit by her fucking dude all the time. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. That's why she could take those punches. God she's damn, she's with a dude? Uh-oh. Well, oh, Mercado's you might be right on that. fucking jacked up, dude. <laughs> These girls fucking killed it, dude. They're Like, this is crazy. They went 10 rounds of just fucking punching... In the They're face. right. This this was gonna steal the the this was gonna steal the fucking show. What's she celebrating? Right. For? No, I, mean, I think there's a fucking yeah. What, what, what Mercado oh, just is, just lost and she's celebrating. Maybe because she was just like, I didn't. I didn't go I didn't down. Get knocked yeah. out. I didn't yeah. get knocked out. Yep. yep. A lot of people thought she was done. Right. A lot of people thought she was definitely losing and getting knocked out, and she didn't. So she did get fucked up though. <laughs> oh, they're still fighting. No. But <laughs> wow. I mean, that was pretty good, man. Even the women had a good... I mean, Jesus. Shit. Serrano had to have won, obviously, but that was... That was crazy. I get, <laughs> Her husband? Yeah! Don't, don't mind if I do! What's my name? Oh, yeah. Duncan Chino. It's a whole new game. Duncan Chino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Joe. Other handle is break up Google. Just wanted to say hello and that Woodley will win unless this is a fixed fight. Yeah, that's basically what we said, kind of. A lot of us. Uh, that's what I think, too. I mean, I think Woodley's winning this. I don't think... Man, I'll be... I don't know. I'm suspect. No doubt about it. Mr. X. Thank you, Mr. X, for the five bucks, man. And JD Venom for the 20s before that. Jake Huston with the dollar earlier. I don't know if I shut that out. Mr. X, keep it hard. Uh, keep it wet, baby. What's going on? Keep it hard and wet, baby. Oh, yeah. Softy. Softy. I don't know why I said that. You think, you think she, like, goes home and, like... <laughs> she her in the pussy. Salty. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh my fuck. God. Your body. Oh, what the fuck is she Dude. hit me? <laughs> Nobody makes me... She's like, oh, my... My husband's hit me harder. <laughs> yeah, my husband's hit me harder, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> my, my gloves smell like a burrito. My gloves smell like a burrito. <laughs> what were they, Puerto Rican and Mexican? Yeah. Well, then they, someone got raped along that family lineage, then, if that's the case. Oh, shit. I mean, I'm going with the border. That's region. how Mexicans are born. Yeah. Someone was traded for rice <laughs> you know, somewhere back. Oh my god! Whoa! Look at these girls. What the fuck? That's what I said. I wanted to fuck. I want to see those girls fuck or something. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like that's this taking fucking forever. Oh, damn it! Get your gloves off. He's like, come on, you're going to get an ounce. Come on, leave the gloves on. Fuck it. Still, Dan, look at the, can we Sting! see the ass on the other girl? 
It's Sting! Oh Amanda God, Serrano! <laughs> Pico <laughs> says it smells like arroz con pollo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just her pussy. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> nice belt. Dude, those fucking girls in the back. They're just. How much do you think those girls in the back are getting paid? What are they giving her a medal? They're giving her a medal for nothing? What? what the hell was that? Everybody gets an open medal. What the fuck? What the hell was that about? I'm I'm so lost. Uh Joe, do you know who this fucking schmuck is? This guy I hate this guy, the UFC guy. The talking guy. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. I don't know. He drives me nuts. I don't know why he irritates me. <laughs> My brother told me that he came from like nothing, like just bullshit and everybody hated him. Uh huh. Now he's like one of the and most prominent fight combat sport and in, in interviewer guys. Yeah. I don't reckon. I I thought I recognized him, but I don't know. I'm just kidding. I just don't like him because I wish I was doing these jobs. But yeah, no, he's uh he seems pretty all right. I mean, I don't know what he does. Some kind of Such Middle Eastern dick. look about him, especially with the way that that no. Oh, I thought he was a skinhead. Oh no no. <laughs> no, no, he'd probably have big, luscious We're hair. talking about a hook nose here. Nothing. I, didn't, I don't know. Let's talk about how Jake Paul's nose is like a flat, like, nothing, and how, like, Tyron Woodley's nose is like a expanding eagle. Left. Dude, yeah. Jake Paul's nose looks like Owen Hart's nose. Yeah. Uh, or or Owen dick. Hart. After he hit the ring. Yeah. <laughs> and Tyrone Woodley looks like Bill Cosby nose. Yeah. Yeah, Tyrone looks like he's breathing for two people with that nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like uh, if you're trapped in a fucking you know uh, a room with little air, you want to take him out first. <laughs> right. Yeah. That thing's a fucking vacuum. But good luck, because he's a fucking fighter. Can't <laughs> <laughs> get that fucking glove off. Shit. Ass Man, beating done. <laughs> what up, guys? And you're like... next, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like Goldberg. Yeah, oh. this guy. Look, maybe he'll oh, choke his son. Shit. Go choke your kid. Oh, what? Did you see the controversy of Goldberg choking his fucking kid so he wouldn't laugh or smile or whatever? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> is this guy talking yeah. shit? Yeah. This guy was talking shit. Yeah. Why is this he talking? Got a promo. Why? He's not fighting. Because the Tyrone can smell. <laughs> Bigger fight from her. What? That's what he was saying, all that bullshit. That, what a dickhead, dude. What's wrong with that guy? That guy probably Real. beats this guy. I mean, that people... Dude, all I heard was how this girl was definitely getting knocked out, and she lasted the whole fight, and she got busted yeah. up. What do you want? Like, what kind of weird thing to say is that? Like, like I'm going to shit on the other fighter who went 10 rounds? Well, then why... Did hug? If she sucks that much, why didn't your bitch knock her out faster, you idiot? Right. What, a, what a fucking scumbag! What guy goes in the ring and then after after like after he does, he's not even in the fight in a woman's yeah, fight right. and you talk shit about his, the other woman like what the fuck, dude? It dude. was his wife that was fight, or I guess that's his wife, or was that the coach? I don't know. No. I don't care if that's the coach or the husband. I don't give a fuck if it's her dad. I don't care if it's fucking. I don't care what the fuck he is. Who the fuck says something like that and disrespects another fighter who's a woman in the other corner when she went ten rounds? Why don't you get in there, you cunt? Oh, dude, I, I'm telling you, I would have. I'm glad. I, dude, I got problems. I might have. If I was there and I heard that, if I was Moro Ronaldo on the call, I think I would have lost it just now. This is why I couldn't be unboxing. I would have said. Wow, coming from a tough man, telling her the other opponent, she's soft, huh? Well, you look like a cunt. You know, like I would have lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look you like know. a Goldberg that kisses his Oh, my God, son. bro. I would have talked it some. Takes off his shirt. I would have said some mad shit to that guy on his way back to the locker room if I was in the crowd, anywhere near earshot of that guy. 
It's funny because I, I would have said, "Wow, nice, nice. get in that dude's dome for a minute, like, dude." Fuck that like guy. Like horse shit. Listen you to know. him talk shit right here. Yeah, what a douche fuck. Well, because he's on the mic or something with his gold, another gold chain fuck bag. What's that tattoo on your neck say? I'm a pussy and a woman beater, you fucking bald piece of shit. Fuck you. Uh -huh. Your mother raised a cunt, motherfucker. <laughs> I would have fucking <laughs> got... I That guy might have come into the crowd if I was there. That's... Yeah, oh, no. Look at, That's look at all the fucking... The, the dude, fuck that wrinkles guy. Wrinkles he's got on the back of his head. He's extra douchey. He's got three, four wrinkles yeah. on the back of his head. I don't care if that guy who could beat me up or did beat me up. I wouldn't fuck that guy. <laughs> that pisses me off, dude. The fuck? You're talking shit about another woman who just went ten rounds. You want someone? Oh, they, they kind of suck. Like, well, you kind of look like a douchebag. You fucking tattoos. Like, fuck your tattoos. You great Not beard. To fucking big shit. When it was a woman's fight. Yeah. You know, like. The fuck out of here, man. They went 10 rounds toe to toe like motherfucking beasts. The fuck out of here. What kind of. Oh, like, dude, that guy's on testosterone pills or something. He's snapping. Dude, like he that. just shot. He just shot fucking steroids in his dick before he came out. <laughs> oh, man. That just triggered the shit out of me, dude. That pissed me off. That's like when no, I used to. Dude. You sh I, dude, you know what I wish we had was I wish when I used to play hockey because I played for about seven years every Friday. I, you know, and I also played Saturday nights when I used to play games. I wish we had me mic'd up and we had video. That would have been the greatest shit ever to review or like, you guys would have died. Like, it would be so funny to sit here and watch the video of that. You guys would be like, you're an, like an idiot. Like, <laughs> oh, I think you said something else before. Like, you'd be like skating past the dude, like, so you'd be like, hey, I hope your mom dies. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like not like mostly it was like only if they were getting weird you know what i mean like i wouldn't like just do that to anyone you know it would have to be that they're doing something like the guy the guy who was you know he was spearing people when the like 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 secretively like when he was going by someone he was taking his stick and jabbing them yeah, in the side the the yeah like exactly that type of shit and i'm like I'm like, what the hell, bro? And, and, you know, things like that. And you're on the bench like, yo, this guy's going around and fucking whatever. And I said, it, you'd say it to the referee. You'd be like, yo, ref, like, are you watching what this guy's doing? Like, are we ever going to get a penalty for this guy fucking putting his stick in people's crotches and stuff? Are you watching this guy? I'm like, watch number <laughs> fucking 18, dude. And the ref's like, oh, I didn't see anything. I'm like, well, you got to look. Take a look. And, um, you know, the referee. Take the ender, buddy. And He's putting his dick in people's crotches. Dude, that fucking shit pissed me off, and I'm on the bench, and I'm like, you're seeing this, right? He goes, yeah, the fucking guy got me earlier doing that. He's fucking waving his stick in people's stomachs and shit and, and doing weird shit with his stick. He's like, I cross-checked him in the corner for it. So then I'm like, I mean, you know, you're just getting your building. So the next shift, I'm out there, and, I, and I, you know, I'm skating by the guy, and I'm like... Yo, I'm gonna fuck your mom with my stick tonight, you fucking faggot. You know, like type of, and like he's like, what? And he's like, what the fuck? And and of course, you know, then the guy's like, yo, fuck you, don't talk to me like that or something like that. I'm like, oh, fuck you, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> like, fucking. <laughs> and, Joe, you pulled the fucking Happy Gilmore or what, <laughs> dude? Just, oh my god, man, it's like, I don't know, man. Hockey was so fucked up, dude. I, you know. I only got in a few fights, but, like, I got in a lot of, like, slashing, cross-checking, you know, shoving bullshit type of stuff. But the fights are great. Hockey is hard. It's weird when you're fighting in hockey, man. It's scary because you're you, – uh, usually you're smaller than the person, and then no. you're, you're, skate, you're falling all over the ice while someone's trying to slug you. Or yeah, they, no, that shit's fucking tough, man. I'm a poon on skates. Because, of course, naturally, from my fucking background, I play hockey. But, I mean, I never what was is, good. Is tripping me out. What is Mar wearing, dude? Are you seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing this. I think he's going to – He is he – I don't know. I'm telling you, he's dropping hits for dynamite. He's, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what, by dressing like a glitter fuck? Like, what, yeah. what is Mauro wearing? We well, I'll Dynamite tell you, fight fans, this has he... been simply one of the best fights in building up to this. It's been amazing watching Jake Paul's transcendence here tonight. Tyrone Woodley certainly is the most serious competitor that's been in... Like, I don't know what he's saying right now, but I'm just... <laughs> I'm a vampire. This reflects... Earlier he was saying, boom, boom. 
And I was like, what is he doing? Mentioning Colt Cabana now? Don't it's play. me. I'm here. No, it's me, Nigel. I'm here. <laughs> Fire department unit stuck in high water. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Water. I'm ready for this fucking eight rounds, though. Eight rounds. What? It's not ten? No, no it's, it's eight. Fucking eight. It's exhibition, man. No, it's okay. Uh, Exhibitions don't matter, right? They're not recorded. No, they well, it better matter. You I mean, know, people paid. It fucking mean something to this kid. No, it don't. Dude, Al Bernstein looks high out of his mind right now. No, he's just Jewish. No, no I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> You're right on that. No, I just, I don't even know what he looks like. I just heard Bernstein. He's like, it's like I just smoked crack. Actually, tomorrow, and uh, I gotta be honest. Uh, Bernstein looks like what Jake Paul will look like when Jake Paul's like seventy. Take a look at him. Well, Bernstein uh, looks like the the Bradshaw of NFL or of UFC from the Terry NFL. Bradshaw. Bernstein got pounded once. Terry Bradshaw. Yeah, but way bigger. He's like a big dude. Bernstein's huge, dude. Look at this guy. Bernstein looks like he's about to do a Radio Shack commercial. It's going to be amazing, Nigel, in here. <laughs> well, I can't believe we're seeing Jake Paul. His clothes have come off. Jake Paul's, <laughs> Jake Paul's wearing a digital signboard on his box on his boxing sh uh, trunks. That say Can they it, punch that? It says his name. Yeah, if you punch it, it goes ding. You can punch it on the belt, but not below the belt. You know, right? you know what would be genius is to have a sensor on his balls and dick area, and if anything hits that, the like the thing flashes the caution sign and alarm goes off. Goes. Eh, eh, uh, eh. uh, <laughs> uh, it'd be even funnier if somebody fucking hacks into it from the crowd, puts like <laughs> dick symbols on it, puts pussies all over it. Yeah. Puts like, OJ Simpson's face on it for some reason. Uh, Nobody knows just why. <laughs> in like text well, you know it, you know you know it wouldn't be funny like that it would end up being something terrible like like the casualties in in the Taliban in Afghanistan would come up oh <laughs> his fucking... Jake Paul is part of the Taliban Jake Paul's Paul's boxers show dead bodies <clears throat> Showtime scuffles to blanket out I've heard that there's people like that oh well, yeah switch over They'll hack your Instagram and then they'll put like these horrible pictures up and you're like, what the fuck? What is this? No, like I'm talking about like celebrities or, or like bigger people name that go into mm. um God damn go into training girls. with these Taliban. Talk about what stupid conspiracies. Yeah, you know, the kids were fighting earlier. We kinda were talking about that earlier and you know I mean, I did have, I did go to karate. I got a brown belt. That doesn't mean shit, really. But that's about it. It's really wrestling that I'm good at. Put you in a fucking Peterson role, brother. Fucking Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Play a hitter's ball. Tyrone Biggins is here. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Dustin. Oh fucking. Oh, they they call him uh, Hannibal Burris. Hannibal it's Burris. Hannibal, Hannibal Burris. It's, it looks like Hannibal Burris. I'm <laughs> Hannibal. I'm gonna sue him for the Hannibal name. Oh shit! I have hepatitis C. Hannibal. Tonight at NWA, Ric Flair returned, and he was an old crusty fart. <laughs> All the lipid box. I'm going to piss on my face. It sounds oh, like a goddamn shit. robot. I love all. Look at the, oh my god, dude! That's just so sad. The white guys all alone. You see them, all the black athletes were in part like partying yeah, with everybody. This because white guys all by himself with his gold medal. Because <laughs> well, they gave him they gave him better seats. What the hell? Oh yeah, okay, maybe. Well, no, they looked. The <laughs> dude, that was. I don't know why that was funny to me. There was this huge nope. crew. All the Olympians were all together. Like, yeah, we're all fucking. Ah. And then the white guys by himself, like. Oh, look at my medal. That's not nice. Come on. Get over there with the other guys. Invite him to hang out. He's all by himself. Oh, no. It's that other Paul. Oh, no. Invite him to hang out, man. <laughs> Fuck this guy. He looks nervous. I'll be honest. So
Surprised I don't have um, Bruce Buffer. Or Michael Buffer. Time. Fighting! I bet Fighting! you. No, they probably. Oh, the, oh, the old, the other Buffer, like the old one, the old school WCW. Yeah, Michael. One. They Michael did, yeah, they did last time, but I think he's got some kind of beef with Showtime, doesn't he? Isn't he exclusive to yeah. something? I don't know. He's got some kind of beef, I heard, but maybe I'm wrong. Yep. Or oh, he's expensive. Right. It could be that he's expensive. Like they were like, no, nah, let's. We, Showtime was like, yeah, we're not paying fucking buffer. Like fuck this. Did I think, you ever hear like his old school shit when he would before he'd say, "Let's get ready to rumble." He'd say, "Let's." Uh, he'd say like other weird shit. He'd say he'd say like this. My father was a white collar criminal. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Wait, what? I thought he was adopted. No, that was. I thought he was adopted. Let's get ready to fist the cup. One of the buffler buffers <laughs> were adopted, and they made each other later. I want to see a seismologist fall into a volcano. Why can't that happen? One of the bufflers. Oh, they're not there. Meet the buffers. Wait, what if they did bring him out just for the the main event fight? Like that was the point. Right. Like I mean, seriously. Well, the last fight was produced by that weird crew, right? Tyson's. Ding or who? No, Triller. Triller yep. is that is that what they're called? Uh-huh. Yeah, because this is Triller. <laughs> yeah, so that was yeah. different. <laughs> so they they bring him out Smoke for one line. Every day. Whoa, hundred thousand. Fuck him up, Woodley. I want Jake Paul's ass to get knocked the fuck out. Let's go. Fear equals pain. Ooh. Thank you. Let's go, Thank man. You. I'm pulling. Right. I'm pulling for Woodley. I want to see. Woodley bash Jake Paul's head in tonight. That's what I want to see. Everybody does. I know. He did his job being a dickhead, to be honest. He does a better job than the wrestlers. Jake Paul doesn't have doubters. He has haters that want to see him get knocked out. Hate, hate. Is the 50th anniversary of the play a haters ball. Dude, the guy on the right looks, what's his name? Disheveled. These guys are purposely got, looking disheveled, like right? They've got to be, right? They've been uh, yeah, ripping the ties off. Be, yeah, like the guy on the left has a un, like the tie is undone. The guy on the right, his hair's all fucked. Yeah, sideshow Bob is gonna. I said that earlier, sideshow Bob. You got a good point. If Jake Paul wins, it's gonna be called fixed. I mean, unless it's like brutal, like wicked brutal. Now, Tyrone Woodley wins. I'll be a little bit more happy that like I feel like okay. Like, shit, man, these fights feel like they are real. He just picked soft people three times and then fought a real dude and got fucked up. So now I'll, right. I'd watch him fight again then. But if Jake Paul wins, it's just going to feel weird. We got to see how we it goes down. I, 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 I give done. him credit. I'm done. Danny's done if, the, if, if, he, if Jake Paul wins, he says. Jake ain't <laughs> losing. There's a reason it's sold out. Showtime wants to keep that money pouring in, says DJ. Dude, I don't think so, though. I think he can lose one. Uh, I honestly believe that. I think Jake Paul can lose once. If he lo- Once he loses twice, though, here, then it's over. Because it's like, okay, well, three and two, all right, you're, we get it. You, you know, you fought real people, now you're done. Okay, it's fuck it. But, you know, I'm, listen, we, I'm watching it. You know, you'll know, you'll know when it's over when Joe stops watching. That's when you know. I'll just be like, yep, I'm over this. Remember when I stopped watching Mayweather for a while? I was like, all right, I'm done. Fuck this. He had like three fights and I didn't watch. And I came back and watched the uh I watched the Conor McGregor fight with him. Or no, I watched the uh the Logan fight just to see how weird that was gonna be and it was so bullshit. It was like, All right, kid, I'll put you over. Here you go. That's all that was. Here we go. Tyrone Woodley, Jake Paul. We're gonna find out how real this thing is in a minute. Good Lord. Here we go. A special attraction. It's a special erection. Yeah, who is this guy announcing? What the fuck? What is Jake saying? This is so worked, brother. You here for some clout? (laughs) 
WWE should hire Tyrone Woodley after watching this. Like I I'm serious. Like dude, WWE should hire Tyrone Woodley. He's I'm convinced. Man, I really believe he went in there and worked this shit. Like, I don't believe this unless it was like worked. He starts yapping. That moment goes viral. This is all worked. <laughs> Unbelievably Become worked. New member. Yes. Oh, I'm hard. I'm so good. Oh my god, I'm hard for the new member. Brett. <gasps> okay. Yo. That's... Oh shit. Terry Funk. Uh, Brett Campbell, thank you so much. Two months, man. Thank you so much. NWA tonight, Ric Flair was there. A lot of people yeah. hyped about NWA. Thank you, Brett, for becoming a sponsor. Two months in a row membership. Thank you. Thanks, oh. man. Kisses. All right, here we go. Yeah, Tyrone's playing the game here. I didn't real I didn't realize they had this much like build up and like weird like how they got into the fight. Man, this is Oh my god, bro! This is I'm super suspect now after watching that. Yeah, I yep. really already don't have anything to say at the yeah. moment. Uh, oh god, look at the Nate knockout! There it is again, fucking that's nuts. Oh they could have like really died. Right? Nate Robinson was tiny, bro. He went right down on his. Oh shit! Face. Woodley's a lot shorter mm -hmm. than Jake too. I I I like I I really like Nate Robinson too. That's why I was fucked up over that. He's a Celtic, and I ran into him twice. Oh, um, shit. and he was a. I love that guy when I met him. I met him twice. Was like, dude, that's another one of the best guys I ever met, sports wise. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I've only met, you know, a few athletes. You know, walking around Boston, and I was like, I like Nate Robinson, man. He's cool. And uh, to see him get just ragdolled like that was like, whoa, that was some scary shit. Shit, I don't even... Have I met a Spur outside? That, oh, one time, Tim Duncan was in a light. <laughs> Man, all you got is bone. Because right down the street, my buddy lived by their uh, therapist, or the... <clears throat> after the game, they'd, get, uh, they'd go to the therapy and shit. Yeah. It was, cool. at the, it was at the end of his block, and I was like, no way. They fucking let, they go there. Somebody said Joe just laid the groundwork to trap Gargutz. <laughs> like, that was funny as fuck. <laughs> Gargutz. <laughs> what? Gargutz. <laughs> fucking oh uh, You wow. forgot I'm a Mexican, man. I'm like a cockroach. Never trap. Oh, I love you. I make my own exit. I love you. I mean, look, oh, at, look at me, dude. I'm looking like a baseball coach. I'm looking like a ba I might actually coach a, some. I don't even know. I signed up Gavin for baseball, and they're like, need coaches. I was like, oh, my God. Fuck. <laughs> Cron Coach Cronin. Coach like Cronin. Hank Hill. You went to sign the kid. You got to watch the ball. For fucking, uh, fucking side job of coaching fucking children, well, acting an ass. It's free, so it's like a volunteer thing. So. Oh, yeah. It's you volunteer, make money. isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I don't think people don't understand what – Especially, guy. I don't know. To me, well, I mean, sure, girls and guys. You know, like, dude, I, I you remember? Nobody forgets their coaches. Like, it's an important thing, like, to do the right thing and, you know, oh, yeah. teach guys and teach boys thing. You know, it's a very like my coach, several coaches, man, set me straight on so many things. Like, it's unbelievable. And not having a dad, so I was very listening to the male coaches. You know, and re the wrestling coach especially. He was a psycho, but he was also great. Taught a lot of shit. Like even Gargut's coach off of fucking 33rd and, uh, Avenue fucking H. You know, yeah. he, he showed him how to crack a fucking 40 open the right way. <laughs> yeah. Something exactly. that you'll never fucking forget, you know? With my teeth. My basketball coach taught me never, you know, become a drunk and then coach a kid's basketball team. He taught me that. I learned that. Oh, that like, wow, coach, <laughs> coach fucking Perry's fucking drunk. He'd be yelling at the referees. <laughs> Smell like alcohol. <laughs> My coach taught me uh, stop staring at me while I fucking change. You know, you, you know something about that coach, by the way. I mean, there was a lot of coaches, but something about that coach to say, he was my yeah. basketball coach for five years in summer basketball or whatever. Like, and this guy was a volunteer because he had, it was he was Gordon Bombay. This guy was doing community service. We I found this out later. He was doing community service for drunk driving, 
And so he was he became a basketball coach. And the guy remained the basketball coach after his community service was up because he started liking it. And in the fifth year of coaching our team, dude, he got hammered in the last game of the season. He was hammered. We now I didn't even really notice that much. Oh shit. Here comes Jake Paul. Tyron Woodley would be perfect for WWE. Only problem is WWE is creatively stifled and they would never allow him to do shoots unless they were desperate enough. Yeah, but that's the thing is I feel like some of this stuff is like a controlled shoot. So I feel like he's capable of like doing better job than even Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey was allowed to just say whatever. You know, I feel like she she was just yapping weird shit. Uh, yeah, fear, thank you. True. And the man, screw the rule. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm sure she planned that one. But like all her other random rants were like, I'm like, what is she going to say? I got to listen to it. Tyrone Woodley yeah. was like that in those promos. That was interesting, even though I, you know, but for boxing, I didn't buy that, but it was interesting. But if that was wrestling, I'd be like, okay, I'm into this. Where are they going with the story? And if that was like a real story, then I'd be into it too, but I didn't quite buy it as real, but I do buy that they set this fight up. They set it up. <clears throat> so, you know, the next one will have to be like probably like social media or something like that because can't just keep having a guy in the locker room yeah. who's in your next opponent. Might as well just fucking straight push it to social media it's because like just, it's obviously a fucking racket. It's mm. bullshit. It's like he just infiltrates everything. Now he's like not even planning out his own stuff. He's just in in it now. Right. How about Jake Paul? So, yeah. It's only fucking four. The fuck? Yeah, like it was like when the coach is like, I would tell people when I coached a basketball thing, this one basketball coach was like, all that matters is we have fun. That's all he kept saying. I'm like, I'm like, dude, that's bullshit. I was like, bro, we're gonna try to win this shit. I was like, right. but no one's gonna get. You're not gonna get beaten up. You're not gonna cry. You're not gonna feel bad if you fail. You're gonna do your best, and we're gonna try to win, and we're gonna have fun while we do it. We're gonna do all the shit. You know, what I mean, if we don't win, fine. But we're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not not playing to win. We're playing to win. <laughs> like fuck you. Exactly. Yeah. We're not here to participate, motherfucker. Like exactly. we're actually trying to win this shit. Exactly. <clears throat> and you know what? When you, you think it's when you fail while trying to win, you're gonna get better the next time. If you just try to participate, yeah. then you're gonna lose every time. Or you're gonna get lucky so one that, time. You'll be that hard coach, like No, I'll be a fucking win. No, I'll be a, I'd definitely be a funner coach probably, but I would still be like not a fucking pussy like some of these fucking people. Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck are you teaching these people? Like, we're not going to haze the fucking players and be mean. To, we're going to make sure the kids have fun. But we're not going to fucking, you know, we're not going to be hazing them. pussies. Do they still do hazing? I don't know. Yeah. Some of the coaches are still fucking crazy. Some people are still nuts. You know what I mean? <laughs> for sure. Well, that's true. I mean, I was crazy as fuck. And I was coaching for the fucking men's team in uh, Jersey City when I was living in uh, Queens. Yeah. And uh, I was a fucking bastard. I was mean. No three knockdown rule. So they can be knocked down wow. as much as they want? Is that what that means? Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Only the referee can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Oh, wow. What? So they can go, what, like two seconds more? I don't... They, can, they can land a punch after Base. the bell. It, it takes the fucking uh, ref right? to make sure that it's... Yeah, I guess. Stopped. Yeah, the ref has to say it's the round's out. over. So basically, the ref has to stop them for the round to be over. Like, if the bell rings, like somebody could get a shot in, and you better be ready. Is what that means? Right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, I got a brown belt in karate. That's about all I know. The <laughs> uh, and wrestling did pretty good in wrestling. The big All right, one. so who do you got in what round? I mean, like, real, like, school wrestling. I mean, not pro wrestling. Like, when I pro... You know, I only I only wrestled, like, 16 real matches. I thought I looked at Man, it the other day. That's like, a lot more than... You know, yeah. A lot of people. It's a year and a half 
of stuff. It's a year and a half of wrestling. <clears throat> you were in a match with uh, against Kofi. I was in a tag match or against Kofi in uh, New England uh, Championship Wrestling, and then he got signed right after. It was crazy. Kofi Kingston. Kofi. Yeah, Kofi Kingston. Holy shit. That's badass. He went to the same wrestling. He's from the same area. I, I, I was trained by... Um, I, I briefly went twice to Kowalski's a couple times, but only briefly. And then I got trained by Spike Dudley for about a month. And then I started getting booked. Like, I accidentally got yep. on... I got on one card by accident. And I, I was good at selling and all these things. You've seen me, so you know, you know like, I can sell mm -hmm. anything, so it looks convincing. But I didn't get trained for a long time. And, and somebody booked me for something... And then they were like, dude, I need somebody to wrestle this guy next week. And it's like a squash match, basically, but you'd be good because I was doing manager stuff um, for somebody. And so I was a manager. And then I just got lucky that this guy kept booking me and somebody else saw me. And then they were like, I'm going to book him, too. And it, it was weird how I and I just started wrestling. And I said and they said, who, do, who trained you? You know, I haven't, you know, and all I would say was, I mean, I'm trained by Spike Dudley and I went to Kowalski's for a little bit. And they were like, oh, wow. OK, oh. But, his mama. It was three months of training. Hi. But uh, I always wanted to go back. Hi, mom. Uh, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this trainer will talk shit about the other guy's mother. Like okay, like now I wonder how much it is now because I don't know how much you were paying then to do that, but or like uh, to to get trained. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand. It's probably like five grand now. Okay, well, I paid two thousand, but I I would have had to pay more. Yeah, I would have ended up being it would have been five thousand. Yeah, thirty five hundred to five thousand, something like that. Mm hmm. Jesus. I paid Spike. Du I paid Spike Dudley five hundred bucks. My grandfather's a, a karate trainer, even though it has nothing to do with what y'all talking about. But that's cool. Just throw that out there. Yeah. More than Pam Paul. What the fuck was that? He's like seventy something still. Arms are like Seth Rollins. He's Tyrone. And that's his name. <laughs> oh, my God. Are I you swear. serious? I swear. I swear to God. And we got Tyrone Woodley here. I got money on Tyrone Woodley, guys. Let's go. 100 bucks for Joe if Tyrone Woodley knocks out Jake Paul. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Do this. Do this. I got yeah. it in three rounds. Man, again, Jake Paul, this, is, this guy's the same size as Nate. Dude, did Jake not touch his gloves? Oh, nope. See, see, that's what tells me that like Tyrone's talking shit. Cause Tyrone's been a piece of shit in all the interviews and on Twitter, like fucking with him. Now he puts his gloves up, and then Jake doesn't touch gloves. So it's like Tyrone's full, like really like like what is he doing? You know, what I mean, like he's faking all this meanness. Brian, are you watching it? <clears throat> all right. The only thing Tyrone's got no, going for him, the the good thing he's got going for him, oh, is that he's got the the like we said, the arm length is close. I don't believe Nate Robinson had near the arm length. I could be wrong, but Jake Paul's bigger and bigger reach. And I, like I said the other day, I said Tyrone Woodley is faster. Even at 40, I believe he's going to be faster than Jake Paul. And that's what I said the other day. So, yeah. and, and he's got those lefts and rights that come at your ears. The ground and pound left and rights. Mm. Yep. But he's going to have to get up to uh, Jake's height. He's used to punching. He likes to punch down. From what I've seen, he's punching up on Jake. He's got good footwork already. Look at Tyrone Woodley's footwork. I mean, he's clearly not a boxer. You know, he's got an MMA stance, but he's got good movement. Right, right. Jake's already in that zone of, like, knowing how to do that bouncy fucking stick and move bounciness. But Woodley's, like, square to the ground. Look at how much, see how much bigger Jake Paul looks when he's next to somebody else? Those fucking, that douchey digital sign of his name going around his belt, dude. What the dude, that, fuck, bro? I, that's stupid. Oh, so my God. Whatever. Stupid, man. Like, uh, <laughs> no, no comment. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> dude, Jake Paul's Damn. dressed like a gay pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going like, on? Oh, it's a bondage one too. Look at that shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Fear equals pain. Oh, he might be creeping. His ass might be leaking. He's wearing the Oh! 
Oh, Jake Paul. What was that? Just a little touch touch. Oh. He didn't even punch him. He was just tapping around. Why are shorts so short? You're right. Tyrone's shorts are wicked short, and Jake's are, like, extra long. It goes well with this 80s song, though. He's doing the drunken crab Addy Booth. <laughs> Imagine having a PPV just to boost your own net worth for clout only to get fucked up by the boxer you challenged. Cho, if Jake wins, I will donate $50. Whoa. My bets on Woodley. Mm. Oh my God, Fear. I will. If you do that, I'll blow you. Thank you, Fear, so much, man. I got money on Woodley too. If Woodley wins, I got. If he not, okay. If he money not, money on Woodley all day. Woodley. I I actually only get twenty five bucks, I think, or something like that. If he wins, but if he if he knocks out Jake Paul, it's like a hundred bucks. Thank you, Fear. Hmm. Interesting. It's a pool. Got like some South Beach colors going on Woodley with his trunks. Yeah, I got that. Uh, play the fucking eighties uh, music, the fucking Miami Vice music. Right. Yeah, I was about to say some Vice City music. That's what I was like. It goes well with that song. I would have come out to the Miami Vice theme. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'd come out, but I'd come out to Miami Vice. That'd be sick. I mean, Eddie Murphy's a good call too, because dude, when I remember being a kid, like I was like seven, Beverly Hills Cop was on or something. And that music would kick in. I'd get hyped. I'd be. I'd like want to see. The only thing that I that sucks is, dude. You know what's funny about that too? You know how they always talk I about just... the race racism and races and heroes in movies and stuff like that. When I was a kid, there was so many heroes and things that I wanted to be and loved. One of them was one of them. One of many, right? Tons of different heroes and whatever. Eddie Murphy in that movie, dude. When that music hit and he dove over a desk and shot his gun at somebody, yeah, I was like, yeah, so let's go. Like, I want to be Eddie Murphy, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, that shit is just that you hear nowadays about whatever. It's like, no, fucking listen, little boys, they, they'll they idolize anybody that they think is a role model or that's fun or exciting or, like, cool. Like, it doesn't matter what color they are or whatever. We liked Eddie hey. Murphy. And that was before he was telling, after he was telling yeah. fucking awesome jokes. Yeah. All that fucking bullshit. The fuck you, fuck you jokes. Right. Hey, Eddie Murphy, fuck you. Dude, we didn't even, I didn't even know, I didn't even really know Eddie Murphy was a big time comic at that point. I knew he was like, did comedy things, but at that, at seven years old in like 1990 or whatever, I didn't know he was that, I didn't, I, I never saw his fucking crazy stand up shit. Thank Real you, quick, uh, Fear. I just want to point out. Or who was that? No, that was uh, Category 5. Thanks for subbing. Yeah, I'm scared for all my friends in Louisiana, man. This is gr I'm watching the hurricane. This is nuts. Okay. I want to point out, why did the coach have uh, his hand in Woodley's fucking shorts earlier in the corner? Oh, you know why. Oh, God. Grab my mouth. Hey, best way to wake up is they, fu oh! if they uh, squeeze on the fucking main vein. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good point. I Oh man, Woodley Woodley hit Jake Paul right in the jaw with a square shot. Like like, He's a... like very very stiff. Yeah. What? Woodley's like very very mm. very stiff. Like. Yeah. So like. That's a good point. He is. Jake Paul's much he looser. A little bit more loose. Yeah. You know, Jake's like got his range and everything. He's landing the shots mm -hmm. from the outside. Mm-hmm. You no. Know, that's that's what Woodley needs to do. He needs to. Closing the distance, you know, he had him so many times, like he bumped against against. Yeah, he got in because he's got Jake Paul got too much reach. Got but you know what? It's only by an inch. He's got him by an inch. Only by an inch. Yep. Yeah. If Woodley but, can get yeah, inside but I the, think the technique, technique can give you more, more fucking range with that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Woodley's a little fucking. Yeah, he's he's putting on the brakes a little bit here to see what's up. He's yeah, like, right. all right, wait a minute. Like he can't. I don't know if he's thinking about I'm gonna do something different or watch what he does. I don't know what he's thinking. But I mean, box, boxing and MMA is like completely different. He might be yeah. right there. But I'll tell you oh, what, God. though. But I'll tell you what, Woodley for an MMA guy right now, his rhythm with the gloves on and what he's doing is pretty good to me. Like he doesn't like. Remember, um, Askren. Askren looked like a lump of shit. 
Like, he looked fucking retarded out yeah. there. Woodley looks like he actually... His wide foot stance, so though... He's conditioned. That's the only thing that I, I, I see that's, like, a little bit weirder is, like, that he's got that wide MMA stance a little bit. It does. It, that's what I was thinking, yeah. too. I was like, dude, he's got, like, a... I don't know, like a kickboxing stance? Yeah. They both landed some that? things there, but it what wasn't anything that? big, and this is what we were kind of worried about. But Jake Paul is looking like he's getting tired, you know, now, finally. He's more of a wrestler, so he's got, like, a very kind of a wrestler stance. Very wide. Wait, the other guy's a wrestler? Low. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. At least more of a wrestler, what? yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where's Woodley from? Is he MMA? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. I thought he was, guy was a box. Dude, this guy's. Is this guy's. Are you serious? I didn't know what you meant at first when you said, Where's he from? Yeah, bro. This dude was a fucking. Multi Round three. Here we go. World champion in UFC. Round three starting right now. Woodley. Woodley's for real, though, dude. He's got that. He's got good technique. He's got. He is very stiff, like you said, though. He's like. He's almost fighting like, like a rock'em sock'em robot because his body doesn't bend. Like like one of those. I don't. I can't make the comparison I want to make because it's, it'd be considered racist. But it's he's like a, oh my god. It's like a. It's it wouldn't matter what color he is. He just look. He's got the form of it. But he looks like a rock'em sock'em robot. Woodley. He's kind of got this sort of like almost like drunken Irishman fight too thing going on. Like he's very st he's very locked up and stiff with what he's doing. You can see that right, Danny. <laughs> fisticuffs. You want some fisticuffs? <laughs> Danny, you see that? He's very square, and Logan Paul's kind of like... very square, yeah. Yeah, Logan's like leaning everywhere. He's loose, and Woodley is like just a box. Uh. This is inter This is weird. I didn't expect... I expected him to just start throwing haymakers. That's what I thought he was going to do. Yeah. This is getting into weird territory. Oh, man, that body shot. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. He's got a distance. Yeah, he's still in the oh. MMA. I think all is jab now. Well, so, all has been like conditioning this shit for a while. So the main thing Woodley has on him is he can take the hit just to fucking go at it. You know? He's in, yeah, that's he's what fast. Woodley should do. Just more combos. I think he's he's he's, he's got to be he's the fastest guy that Jake Paul's been in the ring with. That's that's there the thing. Go. He's the like fastest. He just avoided that jab pretty good, did Paul? That was a really fast. That was a fast jab, and Paul just moved crazy. out of the way of that. He's stiff because he's, oh. he's nervous. Yep. Mm, they're cheating him already. No, sorry, oh, lockdown king. Paul Man. is a fucking joke, and so is his brother. Oh, sorry. Oh shit. Sorry, you got pulled onto that. I so think that these guys are fucking heroes. I, you know, I got to believe the longer this goes, the more in favor of Jake Paul it is. He's younger. You know, Woodley is all his power and everything should have been in the first one, two, three rounds, four rounds maybe. I'm getting, dis the longer this goes, I'm getting discouraged. Like, this is not good right now for all, for all of us. No one's getting, like, like this is, I did, Jake Paul almost I just fucking knocked him out there. For the flags, for the flags at the bottom, they're not flags, that they're shorts. <laughs> Colors. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen that, dude. Like Woodley looks like he's just fucking around at this point. Man, he's got a different look than in those videos. I'll tell you that. Hey, but he's like, he's right on top of everything that Jake is doing. Yep. but he's just getting hit. He's mirroring him now. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, he was mirroring him. Oh. Oh, oh, he shit. waited. There you he go. He waited for the bell because. There you go. Doesn't matter. Holy shit! You saw how pissed off he got. He better get pissed. He better do something. He's losing some of the edges, Woodley. See, this is horse shit. We wanted to see like Woodley come out and just throw. Dude, Jake Paul is. If he wins this, like, cause they're like, this is goofy right now. I can't that believe this. Get his titties out. Come on, titty. Break out. Come on. T is that Jake Paul's oh, mother? She, is that his mother you're up. talking She's about? <laughs> Let's give me the titties. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh you saw those God. titties? She had to pull it Ooh, up. Oh, my God. Look at that, man. That Woodley took some shots there. 
you see that one how he comes off his foot though with that right hand he looked Jake man yeah. that didn't look it's, good uh, Jake's boom oh ho, ho. You watch it Ooh. you're gonna see a punch to the eye in a second that's the one at the end of the round that was the best one Tyrone yeah. landed he had to wait for the round to be over he got him oh well, they're gonna go for it now let's go dickheads the clock yeah. was ticking there was a contract sign if I don't see someone knocked out I'm gonna be bullshit I swear to God. So, what's the best? That this fight. Montana Love fight is the best fight of the night to me. That That's was awesome. And by the way, Mont Ooh, Montana oh. Love it, Montana Love's like a porn oh. name too. By the way. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Benny, you watching it? Of course. Get there, get him, get him. Let's go. Let's get nasty. Right there, let's man. get nasty. I'm get angry. Fucking bite my tongue a lot right now really because this shit is fucking. Get angry, oh, Willie. Come on. Suspect. Come on, this Give white him. this Get white me. guy Get called me. your sister something. Get mad. Let's go. Get Got mad. Get scared. Get scared. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. Get scared. Get scared. <laughs> you know what I'd like to see come out is celebrity. Remember celebrity deathmatch? I want to see celebrity mm. real deathmatch. Like, and they really, oh, like, Howard Stern fights Sally Jesse Raphael for real. Like, that's what I want to uh, see. Yeah. Are we talking about, like, a wrestling death really match? really actually dies. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> like, like book, book celebrities in boxing <laughs> matches, like, for real. But don't, it's not, like, you Sally know what I mean? Sally Jesse Raphael. Well, they, fucking name. Remember when MTV did that? <laughs> um, Howard MTV Stern. did that, and that's how uh, Stick of Fingers got, uh. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to see knocked out by some white boy and uh, lost his hood. Lost his hood. <laughs> oh well. Uh, they're exchanging a couple of shots here. We only got a minute left in the round. Oh sh. Can you ask mom? Switched over to Gargut's fucking stream, but man, what is it's this? like frozen, bro. I appreciate you sending it, but like, what do I do with this? Completely frozen. <clears throat> oh! 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 What? What did I miss? Now because I'm, I'm fucking on guard. Oh my god! Tell him what happened, Gargus. Did you hear the pop on that shit? Who hit who? Who hit who? He got all these haters, dude. Boom! Fucking Woodley just rocked the fuck. Woodley out just of hit ball. him again. Straight mm. shot. Straight shot. Yes. Damn. I'll start believing. Oh, he got him. Oh, the exchange. One to the. Watch this. Watch this, Gargus. I know I'm ahead of you. <laughs> They Let's each they, they each caught each other oh. good there with one yeah. shot. I'm starting okay. to believe it. It could be real. Mm. It could be real. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Make me believe it. Make be Jake me Bird. believe it's real with 10 seconds left. You got to be on Jake, your guard. Jake, Jake Paul got two black eyes. Jake Paul's trying to get out of here. He's and hurt. one black guy on him. Oh, he's <laughs> playing keep away for the end of the round. <laughs> and Tyrone's mean mugging him. Tyrone mean mugged him back to the corner. <laughs> And Jake was in trouble there. He was in trouble. I guess it's safe to say he won that round. Woo! That was wild. This is looking good now, man. I could be wrong. The longer it goes in favor of Jake Paul, could be wrong. Did you hear the pop when he got knocked? No, I had, my daughter just came by. Oh, boom! Right into the nose, brother. Mm. That's kind of fucking later He's like, on. damn, I lost this round. Dude. No, he did. He was on his heels right there. He was trying to dance away for the rest of the round. And then Tyrone oh. got him at the end, and then mean mugged him until Jake was all the way back in his corner. That was yes, that was a message. Uh, Where's the, the knock? Push. The knockdown when he went through the ropes. Uh huh. The momentum changed right there. He fat probably wishes the round wasn't over, because Jake. Look, he almost oh. went out. There it is. Look, he almost you know, went out. Yeah, he. Oh my god. He almost went out. Boom. He right there. See, so should have him in the head there though. Teddy Long's in the back. Play Yep. Yeah. Holla holla. Look like little, little Teddy Long. Uh, Teddy Long. Teddy Teddy Long's taking it in Teddy, Teddy's rear later. Five out of eight. We're in the fifth mm. round. Two minutes and forty three seconds. Oh, Jake Paul with a punch to the uh Oh. Right to the uh Ooh. Oh, right back. Oh shit, swiping. What am I trying to say? The uh, vein in the neck there. The the jugular, right in the jugular with that shot. Right into the artery. 
Ooh, that side short jab by Tyrone in the ear. That was funny. Yeah, right there. That was funny, yeah. dude. Oh. That was jab, just jab, jab, kidney shot, kidney shot. He was covering it up from the ref. That's what I think is funny about that. it. Um, they're saying 39 shots for Paul, 37 for Woodley so far. That's what they're saying. Bullshit. I don't wow. know about that. What are they? What, let's see. Total, okay, wow. but how many? Well, we got? I think early on Jake was landing more, but he, but Tyrone is now landing more than Jake. Mm. Yeah. Oh shit. I've got 38 39 now. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, now when in the ex if it's an exhibition at the end they're still going to pick a winner on points yeah. or, or okay. Cuz I mean like they count when you knock someone out. So They did it for Mayweather. Yeah, I think the only time I don't remember that was Mayweather. Yeah, Mayweather with Logan and also the Mike Tyson fight yeah. where they were like, mm -hmm. "Oh, Mike Tyson it was close." No, Mike won that. <laughs> fucking idiots. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's go. Did you hear Tyrone? He said, let's go. And then Jake Paul oh, licked his gloves damn. like a weirdo. Lick damn. I don't know about licking your gloves. That was weird. Dude, this is louder than CM Punk. <laughs> it is loud. It is. I think it's piped in noise, though. Look at the fans. Mm -hmm. They're just no, standing they got there. loud after they realized that this guy at Woodley can do it. <laughs> yeah. They what? want to see Jake get beat. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, be honest. That's why we're all here. Dressed like a pumpkin. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm here. Just, Jake, I'm happy to see someone get knocked out. Again. Jake need to go night night and get the pellas out. Jake took a stiff shot there oh, and then shit. missed. Woodley left himself open there. He hit him and then kind of left himself open, but Jake missed twice. Mm. Stupid Jake. I wonder if that fucking stupid ass. Shorts he's got on weighs it down. Weighs him down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, those are big. Big baggy shorts. Oh. John Cena, two thousand four. Jake oh. Paul is like the is like the guy you hope that other people oh. don't don't he said no. <laughs> the judge the white race on. <laughs> you like, okay. Borrow John Cena shorts from two thousand five. <laughs> Dude, he bar he probably made that out of an inmate's fucking clothes. Hmm. In like, yeah, it looked like a, like a jail jumper. <laughs> uh, put some sparkles on it. After the, hey Tyrone, just, something I didn't tell you. Yeah. Something I after didn't tell you. Ring, Remember Tyrone, your father who went to jail. This quarter. Well, I got his, I got his jail suit that he wore, his inmate oh. clothes, and I made my fucking boxing attire out of it. With your fucking father's jail. Ooh. <laughs> oh Beautiful. shit. He's got he's got that right hand open all the time because Jake has Ooh. his Willie does have a nice stance. Has his lead fucking down. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But it's exposed right there. Hey, he always has that. He's not even blocking when he hits. Yeah, and he's not even tucking his chin. <laughs> he's gonna have it down. You know? He licked his clothes like all a right. Fuck. We're in the round. We're on round number six. We only got three left. Here we go. Three left. Do it. This is dumb. Already been over. Now I believe it's the other way. I think Tyrone's fast, man. So he's got that. And I think what I'm, what I can tell, what might be happening, is if Jake Paul gets slower, right? If he's fatiguing faster, I mean that could be a good thing for Tyrone. We could see a knockout then, maybe, because he looks like he's a little more lurchy. And down. But I mean, and dude, down. Tyrone's and forty he's almost. He's still going. Forty nine for down. Paul. Fuck off. Oh, oh. Dude, yeah. he doesn't realize that Woodley's that fat, quicker than him, or what? Jesus Christ! Well, the, he's quick too, you know. But Woodley is the fastest person he's been in there with, no doubt. Yeah, everybody else was slow. Oh, all he's gonna throw is that jab. Yeah, he's gonna go for that jab. He's gonna go for that right jab right there, right there, bam! Right there. He almost got him. Yeah, I think Woodley. Right yeah, there. Woodley. Woodley's trying to throw the haymakers now. Come in and throw it. But he's waiting to see when he wants to take As it. He knows because Woodley has sees his weakness. Really not... fucking strong haymakers. Oh yeah. He I sees know. it right. It's perfect because he's not fucking blocking with that shit. I'm calling. I mean, dude, if this goes eight rounds and no, no with a decision, I'm gonna be super yeah. bullshit. Like, I don't believe this shit. Do. Yeah, me. I won't either. No way. Ooh. They're like, bro, let's go in there and fuck each Damn. other up for some money. Let's go and fuck each other for fixed. money. Bro, Woodley's just stepping up. 
he looks like he's like crazy focused. Mm. Yeah. Like Paul's still Good fucking man. around. You know what I mean? Like he's still f- kind of fucking around. Like mm-hmm. Woodley's weird. Like he's like he's got this mug look on his face. He hasn't changed. He probably don't care because he's getting a couple of mil anyway. Yeah. Well, that's see, that's what I'm worried about. Like, let's go out there and just fuck each other up. We'll make a couple million. Yeah. Another Mayweather. With that fucking dude that broke uh, Gotti. Well, they're like. Mm. He broke his hand and just didn't give a shit. He just kept going. That would be. uh, Well, that's crazy, man. That type of adrenaline to keep going after that. That's wild. Who did Gotti fight that day? Oh. Oh, no. Mickey Ward. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Mickey Ward. Yeah. There's, there's a documentary on that whole shit, dude. That last yeah. fight that they had. It's that whole movie with uh, Christian Bale oh, was about it. Oh, that movie, too. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, he's the guy from here. Brother. Glass Jake, Mr. Pico said. <laughs> Woodley has fists. Yeah, he does. He's got those clobbering fists, man. He can clobber left to right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right away. Uh, that was funny, but please fucking knock somebody out. All right. Playtime over. It's a good time for a pitch. Yo, right this here. is it's not there. supposed to fucking go the distance, dude. Like, come on. Yeah, Woodley. Woodley ain't. If he, I'm telling you, man, like, I got. What the fuck, bro? I get 100 bucks if he knocks out Jake Paul. I'm serious. Dude, I will come unglued if this guy knocks out Jake Paul. I will come unglued right now. But Tyrone's getting tired, too. So. Man, I was hoping he came out in the first round so crazy that Jake Paul couldn't believe it. Like, oh, fuck. This is going to be crazy. And it got that way for a few seconds a couple times, but really this is just... They need 10 rounds, number one. Number two, fuck me. <laughs> I mean, like, because if it gets to, if it got to seven and I'm Tyrone Woodley, I'm thinking, like, that's it, dude. Seventh round, I'm just going to fucking throw. I'm just going to go throw like a maniac. Right. Because I'm not. Just go all out. Because you know the judges are against you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know the judges are in Jake Paul's corner, so. You're like, yeah, they've given him what fucking four out of five rounds, five out of yep. six. Almost every round has gone to Jake Paul. So you better, you know what I mean. You can't be doing this, this measuring and jab and fake and measure and mirror. Like that's over. Like now it's time you got to start fucking swinging at this guy. It's over. There's two minutes left in this round, and then there's another round. That's it. You got to start going. Like, there's, it's too late for this, in my opinion. Like, you're not going to win. No, you're right. Like, if I'm in his corner, I'm being like, dude, they got him in every round. Just You got to knock him. You got to just go at him now. Just go nuts. Like, that's it. Or why are we yeah. here? If it's real. You know, that's what you're saying. Because this, Jake exactly. Paul's getting the victory He's going to go for a knockout. He's got to. He's got to keep doing it, though. He's got to. And he's got to realize that every time he goes in, Jake counters. So every time he goes in and throws a. Watch, if he goes in again and throws something, Jake will come firing back with something. So be ready, counter, and go right back again. Wait for the wait for the counter and then go back because Jake won't see that coming because every time he goes in, Jake counters and he backs off and they reset. Fuck that. Go in, wait for the recount, and then go in right away and he won't expect it. He hasn't done it once, Tyrone. He did it once earlier and he won, and he won that round. That's what he's right what now. Was that little weak ass punch. <laughs> that was You'll see here. What was, that look okay. Now this looks fake. Whatever you, oh. I just saw right now look fake. They're tired, but I. They are tired, but it's like, dude, it's 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 been going on the whole fight. Tyrone goes in, Jake fires one or two counters, and then they reset. But don't do that. You know, right they there. Actually went the distance. I, I well, I feel like Woodley has more um, stamina. Because mm-hmm. he's used to getting taken down and then, uh, you know, doing wrestling moves. Right. Yeah. So he's like, oh, I could just be on my feet. That's it. Mm-hmm. No, he's he's good at that. Oof. Oh. What's going on? 
Well, there's Dave Chappelle in the back. You see him clapping? <laughs> Was he? <laughs> oh you? yeah, he's like yelling in the background. Ah, Fuck these <laughs> motherfuckers! <laughs> yeah, come on! Oh, Jake Paul landed a good one. Oh, Tyrone's tired as fuck now. It looks like. Oh shit! So Jake Paul can just beat up all the UFC fighters, I guess. Oh my god! All right, and never, yeah. never go up well, against anybody well. else. So if we hit him in the back of the head, right there. Let him go against the Ice Man, dude. Shut I don't out. understand why Woodley isn't just going like, like I figured it out right now. It's punch, counter. It's punch response from Paul, and then they reset. Why don't you go back at him? He doesn't expect it. Exactly, mm-hmm. stick on him. Yeah, mm-hmm. he I doesn't. Say you stick on him like fucking uh, flies on he's... shit. You fucking throw if they uh, counter, it doesn't fucking matter. Just fucking UFC, move inside closer. Thing? Yep. Close the fucking distance and stick on him like fucking flies on shit. Can you imagine if he was ba- if he's backing off throwing half assed attacks and then he backs off for it and then right as after the counter from Paul he just closes in and goes at him? Jake Paul would not expect that. Damn. Every time enough to create those angles. Oh, man, he could get in though. He can every right. time when Paul throws, if he sidesteps left, he's got He's got room. He's just not. It's like he's given up after the first attack. I give up after the first attack. We go. Two hundred fifty seconds left. Left. Two hundred two. Uh, yeah. Two minutes and forty seconds left. Eight. Eight round. Final round. Eighth round. Here we go. See punch there. Oh fuck. There's the counter. See the counter. Here it comes. He just, yeah. Here we go, Willie. Let's go. Oh shit. And then right there, reset. Yeah, every and then time. One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Miss. Dude, it takes way too long to reset. Come on, just go for mm-hmm. it. Uppercut, too, by the way. Wow, I'm finally watching it. Oh, shit. Tyrone Woodley. Damn. They should pound the back going crazy. Oh. He's He's got to be going for Tyrone, right, Chappelle? He Unless- got his hands down. I can't believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going for whoever he bet on. He's got his hands down. And... I'm surprised Dave he's Chappelle doing would a good job. Sit, sit amongst all these people. He's right there in the like fifth row or whatever. Yeah. The white Willie's shirt. Doing, Willie's doing a good job walking him down, though. It's, it's, it's like, remember when <laughs> you used to see Arnold Schwarzenegger always sit in the front row with a cigar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. yeah. That was awesome. I want to see Vince versus Arnold in a boxing fight, a boxing match. Uh, be, I bet you it'd be better than this. Vince McMahon and Arnold in a boxing match. Oh, my God. Arnold used to show his penis in, like, his first movies. Oh, yeah. I, I, was still alive. I used to yeah. pause his first movies. Terminator, man. Oh, yeah. I'm the Terminator. Spominator. Dude, they need 10 rounds. Like, this is bullshit. Yeah, this is... This is mm. Dude, that Don't fucking... Get that love fight earlier was the best fight of the night. That was crazy. That that's what this should call this a draw. Yeah, yeah. This is the. Dude. This is why I'm I'm fucking done. I'm just I'm done. Dude, this place is gonna riot at some point. After oh, this, yeah. I'll cover fucking UFC all day, but I'm done with this. Boxing shit. is the basketball oh. of the sports world. Let me tell you that. Yeah. So I mean, of the fight world. Good. I can watch boxing. Tyrone's not getting knocked out, but he's not going to fucking win this. I don't even watch fucking Shaolin's versus kickboxing to see who wins. Oh, come on. <laughs> fucking back off and hit him. Oh, hey, shit. Stop clinching. Yeah, he caught him there. Joe, you're right. It, punch, punch, punch. Yep. It's the same. Yep. There's wow. no nobody with a killer instinct wouldn't fucking. I mean, Ooh, come on. Man. There he goes, one punch. What is that? And now Jake's running away, and now he's just taunting him. What is that? What was that? What is he doing? He just taunted him. That's it. He taunted him at the end. He should have hit him. Well, it's back. That is mom. It's back to showtime. That's why. It's back to showtime now. The camera's on. Yeah, the fight's over, so back to showtime. You know? That's mom with all that fucking jewelry on her. I'd fuck the hell out of his mom, let me tell you. I was sucking her titties. Super cougar. Oh, I mean, J- dude, Jake won this fight, so 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got two sons. I think Tyrone might have won that last round, though, but he won two rounds according to the judges from what I saw. And Tyrone yeah, also yeah. won a fucking stack of cash under the table. What it might be a tie. They Is that Tyrone's mom? Or the mom's going to fight next? Yeah. Yeah, she's like, where that, where that bitch at? Where that bitch at? She's looking for. Her. Yeah, that. Oh my god, where's that Karen ass? Where's that Karen bitch? I fuck her up. See, now Tyrone has to pretend like he thinks like he could have won because that's what the whole drama of it is. Your fucking Tyrone's mom's gonna fucking pull a Khabib and that go was, over the ring and dude, drop kick her. Ring, girl. Dude. I can't. Oh wow! I can't. I, 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 oh no! This is some bullshit. Nah, bro. Some oh, bullshit. Boy. Wow. Dude, wow. that was that was fucking horseshit. That fight was horseshit. What the fuck? Oh my god, bro! It don't matter if they went the distance. This was straight bullshit. That was just lame. I mean, I just can't believe. Like, I never... I mean, like, dude, what the fuck was Tyrone doing? Why didn't he fucking... Like, what Rick, the fuck? I thought he was going to hit the guy. Rick. I thought he was going to knock him out. Everybody, dude, every every Jake Paul fight, everybody says the other guy's going to knock him out. And it doesn't happen. Why is that? What do you think? This is rigged as fuck. That's what happened. What? It, oh, yeah, it, he's willing to give up his entire fucking estate to the motherfucker that he's going to fight to beg them to please. When a white guy win. wins, it's rigged, huh, Garguts? course yep oh yeah let's recount that <laughs> shit punch for punch inside the ropes see the counter punch there by jake get out of there and get mm -hmm. back in there yeah he ooh, they rocks he right there rocked him go in Ooh, yeah it's like Boom. he hesitated a little bit no, he just he was waiting for the counters. He knew that you know Paul's oh. good. Paul seemed good at he seemed he is good at responding after getting hit. But it's like right like right there he hits him in the arm. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, he didn't want to knock him out for real. Yeah, that's the biggest example when he bounces off the ropes. Like, dude, hit him right in the head right there. You're lining him up like he bounced off the fucking backboards for you, and you hit him in the shoulder. He misfired. Watch that again, like somebody, like later when he goes off the ropes. Tyrone could have labeled him, and instead he just hits him in the shoulder, whether yeah. by accident or for real. I don't know. All right, you got paid, shots, baby. So I'm just like, how did they not get knocked out? All right, you get paid, baby. We love each other. See, it was all just a joke. That's what he said? That's what he said. I'm pretty sure. This man has a 2,000 and... Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I think the scoring probably was maybe correct. Uh, you know, I don't know, but it's just like, what was that? Like, do we have to get? Damn, oh, girls. How about okay? Fight Mike Tyson. That's it. This one. <laughs> nah, fight Chuck Liddell. Oh, even he's old though. But he might whoop him though. That would be Chuck weird. He can't. Well, uh, well, no, the UFC fighters can't whoop this guy at all. Apparently, wow. Winner by split decision, Jake Paul. So they probably had that in the contract if it's a split decision that Jake Paul wins. Jake Paul wins by decision. Wow. Asian girl again with her titties. I want to fuck his mom. Let me tell you that. Fuck, yeah, that's, his that, mom can get it. Yeah, that's no, what well, I like. Who's this Asian girl right here? That's his yeah, bitch. That don't look like a oh, white woman. Damn. Some, some Instagram model. Yeah. Dude, oh, bet, isn't she a porn star? Dude, she porn sucks porn? come out of a straw, I bet. I'm, I Listen, I'm serious. I can tell. Porn star. I know these porn things. Made his, he made his girl a ring girl. No, that's not the, the ring girl's right there. Is that there. the ring girl? Imagine if he kissed his mom by accident. No. Well, it's now Jake yeah, Paul's man. mom and dad are giving love to uh, Tyrone Woodley. So, I mean, it's just like, come yeah. on. 
Oh, look, mama would Oh, no, the moms are hugging. Oh, the moms are hugging. We love each other. That's the sweetest thing. And there's a belly to belly suplex. We gave you all this money. His mom bought some hot dogs. Fucking have nothing. Another scissoring. Oh, mama mia. They worked the whole thing. Dave Chappelle's like, I'm allowed to be here because I'm black. And a celebrity. You got his money? Here's your money. I'm Oh, boy. Oh my God! That guy right there looks like a looks like the local barber who got was, a job. That was Master P. Oh, it does wait, well, yeah, Master P. If he was like eighty, yeah, and worked under a bridge. Well, Master tell, P. If he was fucking Wesley Snipes, I mean, um, tell me that guy. Guinea on the left with the eyes that are too close together isn't probably a douchebag in real life. Look at him. Yeah, throw top my cake. Got my fucking backwards head on and fucking huh. Uh, I'm here with Jake Paul I'm and here. Logan Paul. You got booed from WWE on Monday. Right. Get up. I just want to <laughs> say I'll suck it. a dick. I'll suck everyone's dick in here. Tyrone knocks out Jake's mom. He's been doing it 20 years. You know, yeah, he's 40. He goes, my legs felt weird since the locker room. Dude, he just put the other guy over massively to make himself seem better for winning the fight. Then put himself over that I've won. I've only been doing this three years. Then he came up with an excuse of why he didn't just kill the guy because his legs felt weird all day, he said. What the fuck is this guy, dude? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, 50 oh, bucks. You donated shit, 50 bucks, motherfucker. Oh. I'm a rich motherfucker. Wow. He is to a fight that was absolutely dog shit. WTF was that? Yeah. These fights have to be a work. At least Mauro Ronalo's calling it. Can't hate on Mauro. Yep, I agree. Moro has been great all night. Moro is the one good thing about this. The poll with over a thousand votes. You guys ended up being wrong. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. 60% for Tyrone Woodley and he lost. Just like every fight, they vote for the other guy. Fear equals pain. Dude, thank you. 50 fucking dollars, man. Thank you, sir. Yo, why does he keep winning? He's really not that good. What was that? Sounds what was like, that? I don't know. Like somebody just ripped their ass. Yeah, like someone just broke yeah. like 17 bones all at once. Right. Broke an ashtray. Ashtray. Oh, yeah. Ashtray. Cigarette. Cigarette ash and ashtray. Ash <laughs> yeah. What, fuck what do you say to the man? <laughs> Dude, how did that uh, pop into our heads like that? Like, just boom. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's that hood shit. We all that's grew so up on so funny. It. Yeah, I know. We all fucking... That's weird. Well, it's... We're watching that shit and, like, having, like, the channel ready to change because they're like, oh, they yeah. fucking on the party. Yes. <laughs> My mother, my mother, come downstairs at like midnight to be like, "You guys go to bed soon," and we're like, right on the part where she's riding them, and she's like, "Oh no, nah, you ain't going nowhere." I'm like, <laughs> 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 oh shit! I was like, out of all the fucking things, goddamn, you come on to this part. Yeah, I want to see she it. She timed it. She's like, I saw. That. She's like, I saw this. I'm gonna come down that one yeah. part. I'm gonna come down right then. Dashiki deleted scene where she sucks a cock. <laughs> she's got her name too Dashiki Dude, Dashiki sucks a cock deleted scene I would buy that oh. blu-ray so fast mm -hmm. he didn't do his best tonight done. he said I could have done uh, I, I, I'm better or I don't know what he said I don't, fuck it. well he's white you know so he's better he says what he's saying you know, that's what he means I think Uh, I just, yeah, I'm salty. Truth, I am, man. I want. I'm sorry. I just, I, this is 
like fucking weird to me. I I'm salty as fuck, and I'll admit it like a man. I'm fucking yeah, pissed the I fuck am. off. I wanted so to see him knocked you, out. So yeah. he's only fighting people that are like non fighters, but his brother is fighting people that are fighters. I'm so confused. I don't get it because right. I, I think Jake Paul's the better fighter. Like, so I don't get it. I, I'm so confused. Like they're letting him talk so much. What's he saying now? Who's gonna Who's gonna shout out? And Tyrone just gonna Call sit out. there and listen to it. He's got an anti-bullying message going on right now. He's talking about words hurt now. I want to know why he's got that. Oh, 27 oh, Freddie Mitchell. Man, man. What up, Freddie Mitchell? Says, fuck it. At this point, only black gimmick that can be beat Jake Paul is John Cena. I said what Ooh. I said. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugh. Like we did. Now, well, now Tyrone's the talking shit again. After he took money under the table to fucking throw the fight, dude. Yeah, yeah. Now That's Tyrone's t now Tyrone's talking shit again. That like, oh, the judges mm -hmm. fucked me. You know, fuck the mm -hmm. fuck this. We're doing it again. These judges fucked me. We're doing it again. That's what he's saying. Of course, he's saying do it mm -hmm. again. I need to get more money. Right. Yep. He's talking shit again. But you know what? I didn't see enough out of him. Of course, he wants a payday. Jake Paul says. You don't want to fight me again. The Jake is saying you had your chance. Now they're cutting the promo for the second fight. That's what this is. They're cutting the promo right now for the second fight. This has worked. This is all a work. He's, Jake Paul just said, if you get a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul, we'll have another fight. And he said he'll get it. Tyrone Woodley is going to get a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul, make the fight. This is the biggest bullshit, dude. This is all fake. This is all fake. And I love Jake Paul your fucking life. Wow, this, this is unbelievably worked, bro. This is right out of the WWE, guys. If you... Uh, I'm... Get the fuck out of here. I know what I'm watching right now. Um, they, I said, well, how are they going to set up the next thing? They set it up in the ring just now. You just want the payday. Oh, blah, blah, blah. No, man, it's not about the payday. I'll do anything. Yeah, get the tattoo. I love Jake Paul, and we'll have the fight. I will. You'll get the tattoo that says I love Jake Paul. Yeah, and then we'll have a fight, right? Yeah, get the, ta get the tattoo. And then, and then Logan Paul's laughing in the background, and they're going crazy. All right, so they're going to have another fight, and he's going to get a tattoo that says I love Jake Paul. Fuck you. This is crazy. It's, oh um, my god! I can't believe that. It's dynamite. That was over just, fucking. It's AEW dynamite. Oh, yeah. oh no, it's dark. <laughs> oh my god! So, did he challenge him again or no? Did yeah, he get the tattoo. Of, I love Jake Paul. He ain't gonna get that tattoo. If he does. He's a fucking disgrace, man. You you He'll think, do it in like henna. You think so it'll wash off. you think dude, do you think a guy like Tyrone Woodley, the way he was speaking earlier about white black and also about how Jake Paul's fake and about how tough he is and all these things, you think a guy like that is gonna get an I love fucking Jake Paul tattoo so they can have a second fight? Right. He just agreed to that. He just agreed to that. Let that sink in. Dude, a real it, Tyrone Woodley isn't real then. He's not he isn't real. I was saying he was real earlier. He's not. A real, no. a real killer guy like that 
would have said, yeah, I got a tattoo. Here's your tattoo. And would have fucking tattooed him. Now we get to watch the <laughs> two red chassis <laughs> that you're about to one. That actually you know would have been the better work, to be honest. <laughs> that would have been if better. one more of these inexperienced celebrity fucks comes in and beats an experienced fighter, I will pay the CEO of Showtime a visit. I mean, listen, uh, dude. Fear equals pain is bullshit, dude. He's flipping out at home. He's so mad he's donating money to me. That's how pissed <laughs> off he is. Like, dude, I'm, this is bullshit. I'm sorry. That was the biggest setup right there at the end of the fight. Oh, my God, bro. That was ridiculous. They should have just made a draw. Like, this is so crazy. Mm, this is just this is not real. He should have just fucking... We, we all knew this was going to happen. Jake Paul's going to win for some fucked up reason. Oh. And Don't not mind if I do. Yeah, he, he. What's my name? Black, black guys are taking dives for the white guy. And Ben Askren, whatever he is. Jake should have went down in the fourth when Woodley rocked him. A more experienced boxer would have went for the finish and not let him breath. He had a little over a minute to go for blood. Yeah. I Mavado, yeah. we agree, and especially well when, said. dude, when yep. he when he knocked Jake Paul into the ropes, and Jake Paul came bouncing back, and he like, and he had all this time to line up a punch, and he punched him in the shoulder, dude. That was the right there. I went, what in the hell was that? Like his head was open for business, and you're and like, dude, you're you're sparring with people, you're 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 hitting Jake Paul in some cases and. Some spots during the fight with precision to the head. But as the guy slowly bounces off the ropes, you miss and hit his arm? That was just weird to me. I'm sorry. This, you're right. this is bullshit. Like, that was... There was, a, there was a point where it looked like he didn't want to even end it. There was a... Wow. Yeah. Daddy, me. No, you know what it looked like to me? Dude, it looked like to me that, like... Like, potentially that if, if it goes the distance... That he gets more money or something like that, you know, like weird shit. Like if it gets to the tenth round, it, like he makes more money. That's when, well, that's when betting odds come in. You know that. Oh god, it's so weird. Right. You can bet on yourself. That's right. Why people take dives, but you do it under another alias or have somebody do it, it is for weird, you. Weird, but the that's real that. word is it's a work. Right. All fucking day, it's a fucking work. Well, and no, it's no, it's a, it's a work and a scam. Oh, yeah. No, this was a scam. People got scammed, no doubt. Oh, yeah. They fucking paid 60 bucks, and uh, <laughs> when the judges made their decision, Woodley walked away. He goes, fuck this bullshit. Yeah. I feel bad for whoever paid for it. Man, it's... <laughs> but the real the real issue now is uh, the hurricane. This shit's crazy right now. Oh, it's in your area? No, no, it's down in Louisiana. Uh, you don't even know what's going on in the world. There's people like it's probably gonna be 300 people dead in the next hour, and you don't know what's. Gonna, he's like, I don't know. the hurricane <laughs> took that ass there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, it's bad right now. This is a that fucking Boston hurricane is fucking the Boston it's a real one, deal, man. The Boston one was a pussy. It just bailed. It was like, all right, category one. Oh no, I'm just gonna become uh, I'm just gonna become a tropical storm. Oh my god, dude, this is the stands. There's more action in the stands than in the ring. Watch Wait, this. What? Watch what? this, guys. What, fight? Yeah. Watch the stands. Oh. Oh. Oh, this was better. Wow. Holy shit. That's my name. Duncan Chino. It's a whole new game. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello Lockdown to King. Can you guys admit that Jake is eight bag? Yes, but he's doing a lot better than PP. I will give him credit if you oh. can do better. Do it. Listen, I agree that he Get actually. The fuck out of here! I'll fight him right fucking now with no money, no clout, no fucking TV. I'll fight the motherfucker right now. No, don't say Ooh. shit like that. Are I you think really he, serious? He, he he does have he is more I gotta be honest he is more like he is more impressive than you would think but at the same time this isn't this is worked bro I don't believe it like that's the thing I I, I exactly. don't believe this that's, I, and that's what I'm saying Joe like that's why that pissed me off that he even fucking hear him fucking spend money to fucking say that shit like 
Are you fucking serious, bro? Do you know anything about fucking uh, com uh, combative sports? Dude, I mean, I I know what I see. I mean, and I know you know what I mean. I know what I can tell by looking at the fight. I can tell you by looking at the fight. It's almost like Woodley was playing around or was like the way he was talking. Like, dude, why didn't he go after him? I don't care. Yeah, like, it's like it, he was hesitating. Yeah, he was. There was not nothing to lose at the point where you get to the fourth round or third round, even where you're like, okay, this is harder to connect with him than I thought. You know. There were things that you could see that Jake Paul was repeating that you could change. And Tyrone didn't change how he fought him. He didn't change. He stayed the same thing every time. The whole fight. Why? Yeah. And then the Which one Which is you know, not like Tyrone because he fucking is uh how do you say uh he's unorthodox very much right. in the fucking cage. And the fact that he stays the same way and he's throwing the same fucking hits and moving the same way is like it's already to me, it's like I don't believe this. I don't believe it. This is wild. Look at that guy. The guy that got knocked out that said, fuck you. He's out of there. Look at him. Crawl. He's just going away. Like, goodbye. Right? Fuck you. Boom. And then that, that one guy is hitting his friend in the fucking chest, and he goes, oh, shit. This guy thought it was funny until, you know, he, he his buddy went down. Yeah, oh, man. fuck. Someone hit that poor little kid with his. It is it, his, it, uh, it it is definitely a, It is an older guy fighting them. It looks like. See this guy. It is kind of a more. Oh. These guys look like Beavis and Butthead. And then this guy is throwing the southpaw, but not really. I don't know. Those are like he's like throwing clotheslines. Look at that. <laughs> look at uh. the guy in the gray. He's throwing clotheslines. What is that? Then, oh yeah, he does. That random the, guy the yeah, world. then look at this. Then when the guy, when he actually, when the guy who was actually kicking ass falls down, then whoever this guy is is like, oh, I'll come in now. This, <laughs> this guy in the gray probably has never like really won a fight ever, so he's like, oh wow, I actually got this big tough guy down. But then big tough guy, other guy comes out of nowhere and suckers him in the head seven times. He's right. like. <laughs> I got to believe that those guys were being the instigators or douches. Otherwise, this guy's a scumbag for stepping in the fight and punching a guy while he's fighting with another guy. But uh, He should have grabbed him and fucking like... Boom, boom. You know, at least gave him a slam on the fucking chairs. Yeah, well, I, I, I think they were just trying to re respond to the these guys, I guess, being douchebags. I mean, they can't... Look at the look at these kids. They can't fight. Look at the punches. Look at how they're throwing... The other, like, well, look at the uh, short G. The one, it's like... That's covering their chicks. Yeah, exactly. The short jeans. They look stupid. This these two guys can actually punch. It looks like he's fucking the guy when he gets up doggy style. Please tell me there's more right to that. There. Uh. <laughs> is that really from tonight's fight? Or is that some old clip that someone's just trying to go viral? You never know. Hey, Tyrone was on autopilot that whole fight. He had the same strategy walking in and almost could have won but didn't. This was a work everyone. I'm happy that I'm donating lol. Yeah, man. Listen, fear equals pain. Thank you so much, dude. You have like literally supported the entire stream all night long, man. Thank you so much for that. I agree with you, dude. This is work shit. Because why would Tyrone talk so like badass and be a badass right. in you badass in UFC, talk some badass shit, then comes out and what? That was what he had, and that's what everybody seems to do. Right. It went the quote unquote distance. Right. <laughs> I mean, get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Of course it did. That was one of the worries we had. If it just if it, we said this, if it goes the quote, distance, unquote. fuck this. That was probably the worst celebrity bullshit I've seen in recent times. Ugh, I just don't buy this. I don't buy this. I want to choke myself out now. <laughs> like, Jessa Lorena, it's a great question. I have a fucking simple answer. She asked, "Why won't Jake fight a real boxer?" Why? Because a real boxer will not throw a fight to help a fucking punk that is on YouTube out. 
simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, he's going to find random fucks that got a name that's going to help him build his way. A real fighter will not fucking fight him because mm-hmm. they're not going to throw the fucking fight. I mean, these, these two fights earlier were better. I mean, um, you know, this was this. Yeah, fight, no, they were much better. I, you know, Montana Love or whatever his name is with the porno name. That was the best fight of the night. That fight was exciting. That's what this fight should have had. And it didn't. It didn't make any sense that they wouldn't be going at it. Philster says, I feel bad for the people that actually paid $60 for this. Yeah, no shit, right? Jesus. If you paid 60 bucks for this. Go back to fucking watching Disney, man, if you think the fight seemed legit. Oh, yeah. The Disney Channel, you fuck. What? You fuck. Oh, Disney? Fights. Just watch, he's, wow. He's talking about Illuminati. It. He said that because it's make-believe. Dude, this is watch a nightmare that. hurricane right now. Exactly. Look, Thank you, Joe. Look at this. <laughs> I got what you were saying. He didn't. Um, I was saying that if they were talking about Illuminati, the only fight they did was World War World... Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to do row, row, row your boat on you and throw you back to Mexico. Row, row, row. Oh, Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like a fucking dog. <laughs> I just want to say that uh, this the the Marines' mother, who's angry at Joe Biden, um, what? He looks like he's angry in the. F- I don't even want to. I don't want to go there. I was gonna say something, but it might be fucked up. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Mine. Um, but they the picture the picture that the New York Post used of Biden and the Marine is so weird. Um. Yeah, this is just a weird... I don't buy this, man. I just can't... Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do. Okay, What's my see. name? Dunkachino. It's I'm a whole new true. game. Come on, mate. You want to treat me goodness? Cordially. I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate Give it a player. fucking shot. I'm sorry if Jake wants to be taken serious. Go fight 12 rounds against to actually boxer in your weight class. No <laughs> exhibition, no BS. Make the match count. Yeah, every mm-hmm. t- every time one of these guys okay. gets in there with him, you look at him and you go, "Wow, that guy's a lot smaller than I thought compared to Jake." So, so yeah. if he's if these matches don't count, how is he undefeated? Well, listen, they they, they, don't count. they count for his record, which is the reason why we're selling this thing. So it does matter. His record does matter, but like I, I think that it just doesn't go in boxing's books, which would ma- which would make sense if you were you didn't know if you could legitimize it. Yeah. So, like a Correct. schoolyard fight that he matters, right? So he can continue to fight exhibitions and rack up fucking wins, quote unquote, all day, and people be like, okay, yeah, no, he smashed all these people, but it's not an official record; it won't right, go on right. the books. I mean, I just want to fucking see him get knocked out like everybody else does. Dude, why are people walking around the streets in the hurricane, especially without a helmet on? Uh, people don't uh, learn about oh, this. Without a helmet. What did you- <laughs> no, I mean like if you know you're gonna walk if you know like listen, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go walk around in the hurricane. Like, you're gonna wear some protective gear, not carry an umbrella. They're like they're used to it. They trying to kill themselves. Bro, this is a cat five hurricane. Like what are you doing? Look at this guy. Cat five. I gotta see this shit. This guy. Oh yeah, I don't have my. Uh, there you go. He's just like, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it's just go- getting going. You know, this shit's getting crazy. I'm Damn, like- and he's just he's just nonchalantly walking down with the fucking goddamn umbrella that he doesn't even have open. Right. Was that what that was? Uh, yeah. He. I don't know why you're carrying an umbrella. I don't get that part. It's not even fucking. And get- why are you walking with the bike if you could be riding? <laughs> I'm just going to assume that's what crack does. Jake Paul <laughs> wins via decision. Uh, Barstool Sports tweets out. We saw the fight. It was what it was. Uh, that guy is either going to get some weed or pussy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's got to be crack or pussy. I mean, there's nothing. Yeah, like- no, yeah. He's going for crack. He's probably already on crack. Exactly. He's trying to he's trying to maintain the high. <laughs> hey, like, this is my um, bro. Oh my god, dude. There is some crazy sights on this hurricane right now. I mean we're you talking he stole that bike. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh shit.
That's wild, bro. Now, what what kind of fucking industrial camera can withstand all that bullshit? Well, that was right. fucking fucked up. What? Who the this fuck is was the moment. That shit? This is the moment Spielberg? we're talking about. Look at this. See this? Jake Paul's gonna bounce off this rope and come right at him, and then he's gonna Woodley's gonna punch him in the shoulder. It's like what? You could have his head was exposed the whole time. These are tweet. People are tweeting this stuff. You know, it's very strange. Oh, wait till you wait till you see that one where it was just like that. Woodley hits him like that. <laughs> like, oh, it's rigged. It's rigged. <sighs> Showtime. Making the money. And then they set up the next fight at the end. And we said, like, oh, he doesn't have another one set up. Normally, he's already ready for the next one. And then they set it up at the end in the most bizarre fashion ever. Hey, uh, let's run this back. These judges fucked me. No, you just want a payday, dude. You had your chance. You had your chance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then get the tattoo. Get the I love Jake Paul tattoo. Okay. You're going to get the tattoo. And then, then Logan Paul's like, oh. And then he's like. Yeah, get the tattoo. I will. I will. Run it back then. I will. You okay? You get so the tattoo. I will. Like, and okay. Like, like, dude, no. I'm sorry. Tyrone Woodley is really getting a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul. Are you serious? Like, or even if he doesn't, they're still going to have a fight. That's what it will be. Like, oh, we'll still have mm -hmm. the fight. They just wanted that interaction. Like, dude, the, the horse right. shit. Fuck off. We're he's not. Gonna, he's going to say, like, it's, it's his bitch. I made him my bitch. I'm going to fucking get him a... T uh, this is why WWE fails. Him. Because you know it's fake and it's so boring and terrible and they don't do anything. And meanwhile, real supposed real sports are working everybody. It's fucking amazing. What Didn't real sports fuck over everybody when all the referees bet? <laughs> on yeah, I mean, that's happened fucking... to me. That's box, no, uh, yeah. NBA, no doubt. NBA, yep. Just... And I'm pretty sure it's still happening. <laughs> Dude, you somebody some Do you remember when I said the guy should be wearing a helmet? Here's a this is a, a helmet. this is video from earlier. It's a reporter wearing a helmet. But while oh but while uh, a yeah. guy but while a random guy behind him does a cartwheel. <laughs> like, oh my god. That's like some hardcore music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like some Lima God <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's headbanging. He's headbanging. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like the singer. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best music video I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Put that fucking music on to this, dude. I gotta get that on for this. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Hurricane Ida! Yeah! Come on! It's gonna blow harder! I love the Hurricane! I am the Hurricane! Bring on the fucking rain! Come on! Hurricane on my land! Throw me away! I'm gonna wear my helmet! Like that's totally it, dude. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's what that is. Best music video ever. That new metal band is amazing. The new metal band is called Weatherman, by the way. Are you guys going to see Weatherman? It's going to be great. Weatherman. We oh, are Weatherman. We're, this next uh, song's called We Are Weatherman, and we, this next song is called Hell. <laughs> Did he say hail or rain. hell? No, this is called Rage of Hell. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new member. Oh, fear. Yes. Thank you, fear. Oh, I'm hard. What's going on? I'm so good. Oh my god, I'm hard for the new member. <laughs> Yo. Okay, that. Thank you, Fear Equals Pain, man. He is. Uh, Fear, man, thank you so much for all the donations tonight, becoming a member. You fire, baby. Thank you tonight, being wet. I didn't even know this would go this way tonight. We've had a pretty good time tonight, man. I know. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for staying wet and moist. We appreciate it. 
Yeah, John Moyston. Duncan mm. Chino? Don't mind if I do. Mavado. What's my name? Duncan Chino. It's a whole new game. Duncan Chino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. No way an actual boxer, working over the title ranks, will ever touch Jake Paul. So this is all we'll get. Tommy Fury, only 7-0 to zero would work Jake over, let alone a boxer for with a 20-and-something record. Yeah, man. I mean, there's at some point, don't you smell a rat? Movado, thank you. At some point, you got to smell a rat because, dude, other big names should be coming out and being like, dude, fuck this guy. This I'll show you right. what this is. Yeah, really is. no, take him out of the fucking sport. That's I why say- you know it's a fucking work. The real boxers are fucking standing aside like, ain't going to fuck with it because, you know, this is my fucking actual livelihood. Right. They're letting him fucking play play games with other fucking dudes in the fucking ring and, and trying Don't to fucking act like he's some kind of a boxer. What's my name? 100%. Oh, it's a whole game. Dunkachino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my Boys chocolate slip. in America. Jake would start UBRO. PPA hates Jake, but someone put him down. Until then, give him the small amount of credit he deserves. Well, that's the thing is, I did give him a little credit at the beginning. It's just like it's getting a little bit old. I don't know if I buy this. Like, I don't buy it. I mean, dude, yeah, and that, and, dude. The point of giving him credit. This is we would give and see. I would give him credit, but how can you give him credit after you see the clear work that happened at the end of the fight? How can you give credit to that? Because it's a work. Yep. That's my thing. Like I, 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 I was giving him credit, and I said, "We'll see how this plays out." That ending moment was eye-opening, and Danny already thought it. How can you say Jake's fights aren't legit? Some of the greatest of all time did the same strategy. Rocky Marciano fought fifteen nobodies before fighting anybody. Okay, Real this greatest guy boxers is clearly started a somewhere. fucking idiot. If you're gonna even compare him to fucking Rocky Marciano, you are a fucking moron. Dick to Disney, bro. That is uh, James Get Mesner. Thank you for the ten dollars, James Mesner. But uh, yeah, I mean, fu- do you think that Mike Tyson could knock out Jake Paul right now? Uh, Absolutely, yeah. with like no question, yep. no question. I'd put a fucking, I'd put my fucking life on it. I Tyson we eat the tilt of shit bomb. Was NWA good? I heard that power still bangs from time to time. Um, I only, I actually bailed on watching it because I was so into this. Fear equals pain. Um, but. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. I thought the women's thing was kind of dorky or goofy the other day, but I'm going to watch it tomorrow before Raw. And also, thank you for becoming a $5 ship bum. And also, Ric Flair was there tonight. He, like, Ric Flair brought up everyone. He was bringing up Tony Khan, Vince McMahon, everybody. And I guess he just was nice about it, put everybody over, and had a good time. So I want to see Flair's speech. I didn't hear it. So I can't wait to check uh, check it out. I got the NWA queued up. Woody gets the tattoo. Let's have a match in the cage. I can't stand these Paul morons, but I think I respect Logan fighting more. At least he fought a real boxer in a BS fight. <laughs> well, well, Tyrone, though, is not a real... He's a UFC fighter. Yeah. Unless you're talking about... No, I mean, Tyrone's a, a UFC fighter, so he's coming from a different sport. Uh, Alexis, sweet ass, thank you. He did, and he fought one. Ben Askren was a real fighter, and he looked like a crackhead in the fight they had. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, I just wanna, yeah. I just want to say real quick, going back to the Ric Flair thing. I hope he's not fucking dying. This is why WWE released him, so he could do all he can. Right. You know what I'm saying. He's even said in interviews on TMZ, "I've got much." Uh, he doesn't have much time left, and he wants to leave his. Uh, Wants to leave his family with a lot of money. Who? Ric Flair. Oh, Ric Flair. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, Rick's always looking for the payday. So, or that, and he fucking spent a lot of his payday back in the day. Mm. Oh yeah, he's, mm. dude. Remember how much it is to book Flair when we were going over the money? It was like fucking thousands of dollars just to talk to him on the phone. Jesus Christ. I don't want to spoil the NWA for some people who didn't see it, but, I mean, everybody's already said it in the chat before, so I guess if you don't want to be spoiled, you should probably check that out before, you know, but 
They had a uh, um, Velvet Sky on uh, commentary tonight mm-hmm. with uh, Bam. Conrad Thompson. Did she do their her entrance? Uh, uh, she fucking fucks that rope. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Oh my god, dude! I'm watching some stripper in- chick like twerk, and it's amazing. Her and Barbie Hayden had like the bouncing girls mm-hmm. uh, tag team in the Indies. Yeah, and they, all they would do is bounce their titties and ass. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> all they would do is bounce their titties and ass. That was awesome. Like, what are you? <laughs> oh my god. Tommy sat in front of me in high school and I could never see the board around him so I dropped out and now homeless. Good thing oh. I stole his phone and have pics of Deb Bay to beat off to oh. into the river. Mm. It's the only thing that gives me a will to live. Oh my god, Deftones. Into the river you go, Tommy's mom. That's sick though, you're a sick person. Um, why are people, what, I'm picking on Tommy. Uh, although he is a, well, whatever. Uh, Jake Paul defeated future UFC Hall of Famer Tyrone Woodley via split decision. All the news is out tonight. Um, let me see what Dave says. What the fuck did Jake just say about the judge? Why does it matter if his if if it's his home? And now he's gonna take a break. Nothing uh. nothing about this feels authentic. Tyrone throws about ten punches more and isn't in this isn't close. Wow, really? I don't know about that, but it was fake, no doubt. It was it was it was a shoot work. It was like um, when WWE did it with the fucking brawl for all. Yeah, oh, get is... Butterbean in here. Let's see Butterbean versus Jake over see, here. See, that's kind of what I think. I think it's a bit of like brawl for all mixed with. A war- I used to be a WWE guy, but exactly. lately I've been really into AU. I think it's possible that WWE will ultimately screw themselves and cause their own company to fail by relying on people like Cena, Reigns, Brock, and Edge. Yeah, I mean, we've been saying that for years. I've been saying that for years here is that basically like WWE, the, the week to week stories are terrible. They can't really build anybody new. And what they do is they put a band aid on the bullet hole. They bring back Goldberg for a night. They bring back Cena for now. And they bring back this guy, that guy, the other. Pop the ratings. and But their week to week show people's, is garbage. People still cheer for them. And uh-huh. that's why they'll, they'll, they will fucking fill that hole. Dude, but the- it's. Let's see if Keemstar understands this is a work or if he actually is excited about this. Let's see. Yo, 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 yo. Jake Paul just told Tyron Woolley if he gets a fucking tattoo saying I love Jake Paul, that they'll run it back. That they'll run it back. There's going to be Jake Paul versus Tyron Woolley too as long as Tyron Woolley gets a tattoo that says I love Jake Paul. What? This is insane. Yo, wow. Yo, yo, yo. Keemstar believes it. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Wow! Keemstar is a fucking moron. I, you know, well, Keemstar is just sucking dick. No, right he's now. doing that because he's friends yeah. with him, dude. He gets paid to like hype the thing. Yeah, uh, he's sucking dick. That's wow, dude! I, I mean, he got paid. He got a good payday for that shit. What a what an uh, idiot! Yeah. It's still real to Keem. Uh, wait, oh, that was his. Oh shit. I mean, this wearing that bandana. This is the most <laughs> WWE shit. I, and, and Keem said, and Keem made fun of me for being a wrestling fan. You remember that he was like, "Joe watches fake wrestling." Yeah, you know what? You're watching a fake boxing fight. How about that? Oh my right. God! He said if he gets a tattoo, True. like, duh. He, dude, he it's no gonna be henna. There's no way Keem is that stupid. I mean, uh, he can't be that stupid. If he wants more viewers, he'll do whatever he wants. That's true. See, he's paid. He'll be like, he's it's, isn't he friends with the Paul? So he's probably getting paid to like hype it. So that's what I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, I don't even know about that, but I'm just saying, like, pretty sure, like, all these people that came in there for the Jake su- Jake support, you know, maybe he is friends with them. That's why they Jake supporters are over there. I don't know. Yeah, makes sense. No. Thank you for that. Oh, nice. Two men died of uh, the Moderna vaccine because of metal flakes. Oh, no. Wait, what the fuck is that? I don't know, bro. But I got the Moderna. Oh, what, what, what the fuck puts... Uh, uh, put some metal flakes in this thing. 
It'll work. Maybe a little bit of flannel, heroin. Well, well, isn't there fucking like mercury in the fucking shot? I mean, I got I, the Pfizer one, but uh, like, I think there's fucking mercury in it. Probably like a, but like less than you need in fish and shit. I think they say, but I don't know if that's true. But here's one thing that I do know: if you if you give out a fucking vaccine to like, you know. 18 million people you know somebody's gonna fuck something up somewhere if you serve fish sticks you know to uh 17 million people in a week you know somebody's gonna get there'll be food poisoning somewhere in there you know but uh i hope i didn't get the one with the metal flakes or i don't get the one with the metal flakes i hope you have the metal flakes in there so to just like tear up your arteries <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the fuck Metal it up, Joe. Metal. Come on. Then you start playing that song again. Oh, <laughs> I don't man. even know what the fuck you were playing earlier. You know what would be great? In the, hurricane? the only thing good about dying of the Moderna vaccine, if I do, would be that, like, I like remember how scared I was like, su- I don't know why I'm not even I'm not an anti-vax person, but being scared, uh, I was scared to get the vaccine. I didn't want to. I was like, you know what? I don't fucking think I want this. I don't need it. My body, I'm young, whatever. And it, it, and I was like, I really didn't want it. But everybody was pressuring the fuck out of me. And I finally said, all right, you know what? I need to get it. All right, fine. I'll get it. I'll, I swear to God, though, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you're a fucking idiot. So it would be great if I died of metal poisoning from the Moderna vaccine. And then I could I could be like, see, great if you died of metal poisoning, should have just, well, the way down, like, yep, should have just let me do what I wanted, which was just just deal with it. That's what you should have let. But now I'm dead. You pressured me into it, and guess what? You ain't getting no money for my wrongful death either, because they you can't sue them. So boom, this stream gets taken down. Right. And Joe dies. We know why. All your life insurance and assets go to fucking like SPCA. Mm-hmm. It's all gone. No one can fucking take a dollar from you. No, I was uh, on the real though. I was the same way too. Like in the past, I'm like, man, fuck this and this stupid ass fucking virus everybody's talking about, or whatever. Blah blah blah. Mm. I ain't getting no fucking poisonous vaccine. Da 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 da. I had a big mouth on me, and then bam. Da 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 da. And then, then you got COVID. Killed me. Yep. You know, like. So now, guess what? Danny's gotta have to fucking say, hey. Yeah, I I uh, I lose. Uh, uh, I got the vaccine now. I never want to go through that shit again. <laughs> I think you have the best case scenario, to be honest, Danny, because like, you got the virus, so you're which sucked, and I know it fucked you up for months. But like, you got to get the real antibodies, and then you actually got the mRNA vaccine with it so like you've got yeah you know i would think that you're kind of double protected in a way your immune system kind of knows what's up and you've got the blueprint things so i don't know i would think that would be good to have both that's what that's what you hope for is to get both i mean yeah i mean you know because you're right i mean like scientifically you know you build the antibodies after you get over a specific uh case of whatever virus etc yeah oh, and when i got better and made sure I was like better, better. Then I went and I did the vaccine. So I think uh, I think I'm gonna be all right. Yeah, you've improved a lot. That's really good. It did take you a little bit, but at least you improved a lot. You know, three months, homie. That's just crazy. Then that's three months. Yep. My um, other than obviously three Larry, months. obviously we lost Larry Funk to it. But other than Larry Funk, everybody else I've known, the worst case scenario that I knew was also three months and he didn't get his sense of smell back for about two and a half months. And he had like swelling and weird fucking like, uh, just, um, inflammation and shit like that. And he's bet he's fine now, but he, that he was the worst case besides Danny. Guz got it bad, but he was like two, two weeks or less. So, but you know, I don't know. That's been about it though. Jake Paul two fucking, times, what was that? Few time, the few times that I got it, I mean, the first was bullshit. The, the second was really bad that I couldn't even drink beer for like at least a month and a half. This wow. Third oh, time, you must the, third time I, the third time I was at my chick's house and her dad got it. And I was just like, great. I woke up the next day and I was like, now I got it. I fucking know it. So... <laughs> I was done that that whole fucking week. 
the two weeks and then uh, I finally got over it and then for like at least a month and a half after that I didn't drink yeah I wouldn't I bet I wouldn't either too because I remember one time I got well, sick I didn't drink for six months nope oh shit please God stop the pandemic <laughs> Rest in peace. I want to say COVID is really bad in schools. Teachers and students are having to miss class because they get COVID or because they have to quarantine. Schools are so understaffed, teachers having to skip breaks to fill in for other teachers who get COVID. It's a mess. Oh, my God. Is that really going on? Oh, no. I'm looking at it. I'm just like, nah. So when I send my kids back to school, we're just we're fucked, is what you're saying. Oh, boy. Oh shit. Jake Paul wins. Shut up, Kim Star. I didn't even really realize he was still famous. <laughs> what a fear he was playing. Yeah, most uh, most don't. What's up, Jake? Uh, Gargots? Wasn't he in that fucking YouTube shit? Um, YouTube fights and all that bullshit that happened like maybe like two months ago? Wait, what was that? It was, I remember uh, he was like in That's YouTube, the worst since uh, first Chris Brown versus uh, Rihanna fight. I've seen a oh, lot no. of this was more no. enjoyable. Oh my Tyron God. Tyron should get to two on condition he gets to titty fuck Mrs. Paul. I can't believe her fish stick sons got to suck on those. Ben Askren versus Bullfrog. Ben Askren he versus Bullfrog. He used the fish sticks, Joe. He said the fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Pico come on Mrs. Paul's tit. What the hell, bro? What the fuck? Yeah, it really depends on what state you're in for that. So, I mean, dude, they're going to have another fight. This was worked. They cut a huge promo at the end of this, dude. Some Hollywood editor is going to have fun editing the next fight with the beginning of this one versus the drama. Oh, my God, dude. This is... Shit bomb! Come on. I, I, that's what I believe. You become a shit bomb. A shit bomb. Pray to Christ, man. Don't get the vaccine or the booster shots. It will kill you. Glory to Christ. Joe Jones oh. is Christ. Thank you, Joe Jones. It's just too bad I already got it. So that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, what? Joe Jones. Just pray it. for me, cause I got it too. You know what though? I've only got I've only got the one. I got to get the second one. So. No, I thought I, the I Moderna both. one was the one that you only do once. That's the Johnson and Johnson. Mm. You wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't okay. be. I'm I wouldn't not sure if you guys go follow near Jake them. outside of boxing, but everything he's involved in is a scam. Yeah. He faked his own wedding yeah. for publicity and made thousands of his followers by having them sign up for his phony financial freedom monthly courses. Right, you're right. He, that's a great point, Big G. Like, it's all some kind of gimmick work. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Big G. What a Big G! Big G. Yeah, we're looking Big at the wedding, huh? the poll right now is 61 votes Big so far. G. Almost 70% believe this was rigged so far. It was. Well, they're right. Yeah, it was. 63 votes. Up. Like we've seen boxing matches, we know how they work. Shit, it's like uh, all of Mayweather's <laughs> were after a while. The ones earlier Shit. were real, they, they seemed. Everybody f in the chat if the fight was rigged. Yeah, it, it's like, dude, did yeah. you see all the fights that happened before that fight? They all seemed like fights. That was the only one that didn't seem like a fight. Think about that. Yeah, it seemed like a pl like, like a, a play a play date or like a sparring throw down or something it, but the other ones dude they were throwing people mm -hmm. were really throwing like that was i'm sorry i don't His buy brother this. got more hands than him i heard johnson <laughs> johnson equals hiv oh well, they it might i'll tell you one thing it certainly it it equals John, johnson. listen johnson and johnson and pfizer had such crazy lawsuits it's like I don't, it, it, dude i got the moderna so we should have, and Lee is, my wife has the Moderna, and uh, all the family has Moderna, I think. I think my mother might have gotten Pfizer. I don't, I'm not really sure. 
But I, I, I'm the last one who didn't get it until I got the first one a few weeks ago. So I have to get the second one. But now I'm hearing that this guy in J- these, this Japan batch has metal in it that's fucking killing people. Like, great. <laughs> oh, shit. I, mean, I can't yes, wait to... It's going to slice your arteries from the inside, Joe. Mm. I hope you suffer. Well, they don't put it in a fucking vein or an artery. They just put it in a muscle. But whatever. I don't know, man. That's I just saw that. Unless the guy, unless the thing is fake. Unless the person. Like you know how they take, they'll take blood from a, a vein. They won't go near your artery. You don't want to do that shit. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it's a made up story, but uh, I just saw that on Twitter. I mean, on a. It's probably a made up story. And we'll look it up. Head. It's just a straight shot to the fucking arm. So. It's a fight. <laughs> this guy's kid, like, mate. calm down, brother. Calm down. Oh. Loudville. <laughs> Dude, these guys are like, sit down, kid. All right. Back off. Boom. There you go. Ow. <laughs> I love how his buddy just stepped in, like, all right, I got this. He boom, punched him boom, in the neck right, right there. Boom. Kind of right there, he punched him in the neck. Yeah. He tried yeah. to hit his head. He missed. They beat the shit out of the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys got beat up. Hey, there's the cop. I didn't even notice that. There's the cop. Oh, there's. A... He put. It, he's like, let me put my mask on. Hold on. This is more entertaining. Oh, look at the cop. Dude, I gotta be honest. If I was this this age and I was that guy and I, I got arrested for this fall, I'd be like, "This is awesome! I'm getting arrested! Holy shit!" I would do a All swan right, dive right now. Finally, did it. I always wondered if I could get arrested. He's like, "Look, mom, I'm on. no, I'm right. Tyrus, dude, he, his buddy punched him in the neck, though. That was crazy. Tyrus jumped off the second rope, and it looked ridiculous at NWA tonight. I just want to say, I just saw that. That looks. Sad. Oh. But he's doing that Fox News shit. So yeah, he's we, he, yeah he's on but he's on NWA now. But I mean, he's like you know he's like done. You know, yeah. Kevin Spacey started filming a new movie. They've been like videoing him. They're like, oh look, it's amazing that this creepy guy. I mean, but what did I he mean, really? Didn't he not really do Hollywood. anything? Hollywood. <laughs> amazing that this creepy guy. Oh my god, bro. This is just Wait, fucking. Yeah. I can't believe we watched this tonight. On that, on that Kevin Spacey shit. I mean, it's just Hollywood. They all do that. That's documented everywhere. They're always gonna find somebody that has something against them. I mean, shit. There's that. Well, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Shit. Who was the one who took the first swing? It doesn't matter. They all did it. Right. What's up with the gingers have no souls guy? He made a video or something. What is this? This guy's still around. I, uh... He's got no words, either. I feel like this thing is going to cut out. <laughs> uh, it, it, you got a lot of cholesterol, though. Yeah. I'm already extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, he, he says, I've been on YouTube 11 years. I don't know where, I don't know where this is going. I'm not sure. All I want to do is make people happy. The motherfucker looks like laughing. Telly off of fucking Sesame Street. This is the guy from the, the Telly. Do you remember the video where the guys like the gingers have no souls meme video? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the, that's this guy. Okay, I I bet that what's going on here. For a long time. I'm betting what's going on here is he's verified on Twitter. You know he was famous for this meme, but he really hasn't gotten any money from it, and his whole life has been that he's a sort of a celebrity, but isn't a celebrity you know what i'm saying so he's kind of like i don't i'm nobody and i have no money but everybody knows who i am the same thing that happens to like a child actor who like make you know what i mean who ends up going sideways because of all that shit even, even it happens to me like i'm like oh, I'm doing so well but like what happens when i don't have youtube what am, what am i you know oh what yo you know we call them Fucking one hit wonders in the music industry. There you go. Yeah, one He's hit wonder. Milli Vanilli. Except for his hit didn't make really make him money though. That's the problem. Is his hit really didn't make him money. So you're just famous, but then nothing just really. Just threw up. Ate too much pizza. Can't believe there was a fight at the event. WTF? Yeah, the fight was better than the fight. Fear <laughs> equals pain. 
<laughs> Dude, FEP, baby. FEP is dropping dough tonight. Thank you, fear equals pain. Yeah. Well, apparently fucking eating too much pe- pizza equals puke. Thank you, sir. Fear equals so. pain. I mean, depends on what kind of pizza, but yeah. Let's listen to some more soy. Oh, yeah. What's happening? Is this, <laughs> is, is, not even a, saying anything. is this a work? This could be a work. Man, where's my shout out? What's going on? I'm waiting for mine to come up. I like how he has that relaxed. Look, thing you just in the said your name. Danny MT beat me up. Danny MT. At least once. Oh, well, yeah, no, I beat oh. everybody up, so that's okay, but, like, no. That's I'm not real. I'm waiting for mine to come up because I became, this evening, an official patriot. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. I see on. I see what happened. His he got his YouTube channel terminated. That's why he's upset. Oh. Wait, oh. What, what the fuck? How? I don't know. No, it's true. Wow. I don't know either. How the fuck did that happen? Everything Copper does it. is at work, but it's so funny. Yeah, maybe um, he's working us all. You think he's working everybody? Because he is a bit of a worker, too. Or maybe he's serious. I mean, that's a great cry. Oh, wow. This is, I don't know, man. This is a pretty, this is one of the best work cries ever if this is a work cry. This is one of the biggest work cries. Like, if, if, he's, if this is a work cry, this is a, this, give this guy an acting job. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube a remote up his has ass. been something I've loved doing for my whole life. Jesus. <laughs> Please, Work. anybody that can help me get my channel back, I would appreciate it. This is this, is, this, this is what I would look like if this happened to me. This is what I would be doing. I'm serious. I'd be fucking. I'm sorry. You'd have to see me cry. <laughs> And I'd be, and you know what Bro. I'd do too. And I have, I'd, I had my kids around me too while I did it, and said, "This is who you're taking the money from, YouTube." Oh yeah, dude. I'd, right. Yeah. yeah. Let's make it extra dramatic. I'd have yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, what else could I do? That. I'd have to do that. I would have to, and hope to go viral on Twitter. How would you work it as bad as you're doing right now with the lights in the background? Yeah. Oh yeah. I would. No, perfect lighting. No, I'd throw on up on. Him. I'd throw up on Brenna. Like it'd be. I, oh. Dad, no, it's okay, Dad. You can. I don't know what you can do. Don't know why my channel has been terminated. Hey, but hey, what's up? How's it going? On? What going on? Okay. Jesus. I have a question. Do you think Bullfrog has they been vaccinated? It. Yay, probably not. Ha ha. But what do you think would make him get the jab? Free frozen pizza or other food? There's uh, a lot of jokes we can make here. Um, I, I think an autograph signing with a sexy, big breasted woman and the promise mm-hmm. of, yeah, and the promise of like a brick house pizza or something like that. Yes. Vax on the wax on lax. That's it. You you know him Bring so well. Bring in Bring in A.W. I mean, uh, N.W.A. <laughs> yeah. And what was better tonight, N.W.A. or the fight? Everybody in the chat, let us know. Love to know. I didn't see what? the wrestling, but it probably was better. Ah, uh, yeah, probably oh than this. God. Especially than this. I'm just being honest. <laughs> there's a, there's a million people with no power in in uh, Louisiana right now. Oh shit! Really? Right now, like yep, a million people. Shit. I need to fucking see that shit all over again. Oh, five all over again. And another little Wayne out of there. Yeah. Oh, hey, do you remember when uh, people were like raiding the stores, and I'm like, all that equipment's wet. Stop raiding this guitar. They were stealing Ooh. Les Pauls and fucking Marshall amps. Oh That's my god! Crazy. Really? Yeah. They had pictures of it. I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" I was like, "That's genius, dude." Woodley that shit is all fucked up. I can't believe that the fucking the hurricane isn't trending. Like one, the, th- the fucking Dave Chappelle's three, boxing's two, <laughs> Woodley's one, uh, Serrano, dude. fucking Serrano's trending for Christ's sake. But not the hurricane. Nobody sure. cares that right now. Fucking Louisiana is being like destroyed. The levees like, broke. Raped. Yeah, and, yeah. And poor Ed Asner. Goddamn, he gave his whole life to the entertainment industry, and nobody's talking about him. 
Dude, what the fuck am I looking at, bro? Look, uh, this it. is going on right now. Whoa, shit. Oh, oh my oh. god. Blown over here, uprooted in Oregon City. I, 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 Dude, I what, what the fuck? Him. I live in Southern California, and I have never oh seen Oh my god, it's Luis. Before. What up, it's Luis? It's Luis. Right What's up, Luis? Louis, the love love. As you can see, I have my cards on the table right now. Yeah? Shut up. They should be up your ass. Alright, Gambit. It was a bad slice of pizza lol. NWA 10,000% was better than this fight. Ric Flair uh, on the mic easily beats this horrendous celebrity cash grab. Woo! I gotta watch Ric Flair. Rick. Can't wait to watch Ric Flair's speech. Thank you, fear equals pain. I'm checking. I'm gonna go to bed to NWA tonight, for real. So that's I am gonna do that. Can it just be AEW Bro, Dynamite? Yeah. I just want it to be Dynamite. I want it to be Wednesday night. That's what I want. <laughs> Look at this. Ripped up sod and everything. Well, that tree just missed the house. That was. That's the best. Elevation. The best place that tree could have landed, bro. That is the best place that tree could have landed. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy crackers! Holy crackers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? What? <laughs> Never mind. Hey Arnold episode. Look at this. Dude, look at this. Look at that. Whoa. Can you imagine being in a big building during this? Would you even be in the building? I'd be the fuck out of there. Fuck no. Oh, fuck this might no. oh, this <laughs> might this might be a hospital though. Yeah. Although the building is probably pretty fucking strong to be Where honest. Where's this? Mm. Louisiana. Damn. Oh my god. The historic building of South Rap right Rampart that housed the Kronofsky Pawn Shop, where a young Louis Armstrong was employed in 1910, has collapsed under the strain God. of Man. Hurricane that Katrina. Must have been an iconic mm. building. Yeah, I mean, um, Ida. Look at that. This fucking brick building right here is gone. Wow. Damn. Dude, what? Like Baltimore. Look, I'm going to say this. Climate change is really destroying this world. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah, it's been doing that. It's, it's... Fuck it, I'm saying it. <laughs> Louise. You know, I'm but, sorry, you, but you, it's the sad truth, Joe. It might it might well listen, there's definitely a change in the weather. Uh but I mean you know Hurricane Fives have I mean have happened for years. Let no, me just... cat five hurricanes have happened for many, many, many years. Yes. And it's not good. But, but was the climate changing when they happened in 1969 in Louisiana? No idea. <laughs> well, let me let me ask you a question. And I'm not saying I, I, listen. I kind of I believe in it for the most part, for most ways. But let me ask you this: um, What tells you that the uh, that what, what's causing the climate change? Wildfires, hurricanes. Wild. Obviously. Wait a minute. Hur oh. Wait a minute. Hurricanes is causing the climate change? This. Wait a minute. Hurricanes are causing the climate change, Louise? Yep. The Smog. hurricane. So, or did so, I say it wrong? Well, I mean, well, I did I say it? What are you... Or did I say it wrong? What are you programmed by someone to say this? What are you talking about? I said it wrong. Well, I'm but I mean... Sorry. what What do you mean you said it wrong? What did you say wrong? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, like, so, um, you're, you, what you, I think you're, what you're trying to get at is the millions of people pumping carbon dioxide and, you know, carbon into the, uh, atmosphere is causing the greenhouse effect, uh, to have gaping holes Bingo. in it. Ed Asner decided to save 60 bucks and go buy autoerotic asphyxiation cause he knew fight would end in fuckery. <laughs> Rick right. said Charlotte Six four away days. from his record. She's three away from 16 faces. Best Paul brother is Rand. Nick Gage versus Gage Goldberg. 
Thank you very oh. much. Uh, Luis Causes Hearing Loss donated that $3. Uh, thank you. Luis, Luis uh, his program, Democratic California State, he couldn't get all the set. You got to start learning Pelosi's commands, Luis. Yu Gi Oh! You got to learn, yeah. Exactly. You got to learn. You're sitting there playing Yu Gi Oh! Listen, you got to learn the, co the commands of Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> That way you can argue with someone. I'm even a moderate type of guy who believes in it, but like, listen, tons of hurricanes happen throughout all the time, forever. You know what I mean? Um, I, they probably turned on the weather machine to kill us so we could all get scared, get scared. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, you know, now also you want to say that the carbon emissions and things like that are eating away at the ozone layer making us less resistant to the magnetosphere and the sun, heating up the planet, causing the yep. uh, causing the ionosphere and, 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 and these different changes in the, in the ocean patterns, heating up the core of the earth, heating up the middle of the earth. And, and when you get more heat, you get more chance for hurricanes. So the hurricanes are bigger, better, and stronger. That's what you want to get at. You want to start, start learning that at least. At least what I just said. So write that down. And write, above it, write liberal brainwashing <laughs> it's okay the right wing has brainwashing too but it's a different that's like we love no, babies unless they're what wait, look the right wing still sucks i i mean i listen i think they all suck but i mean i'm just saying when did, when did they not suck when did when did the right or left not suck let me explain that to me uh the right wing hmm, let me see here <laughs> nixon maybe <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna die! I am going to die! Wait, did you say the right wing was good when Nixon was president? Yep. Oh. Or when Reagan was Jake president. Paul. What if I told you everything you said? I'm I'm not gonna believe uh, now. I I now believe uh, now because of you. I don't believe in global warming. What if I told you that? Uh, D. Welch just said, "Jake Paul, please give me some of your chin." Thank oh. you, D. Welch. You know that Jake, Nick. You know that give Nixon. Me some of your money do, do you, so I can get an apartment. Do you know Nixon was a like crazy crook, right? Uh. Yeah, but you said that the right wing party was good when Nixon was president. Yep. Yep. So you agree? So you think Nixon was the last good right wing president? You're kidding though, right? Like this is this Bro, a joke? You you're capping. This can't be real. Yeah, you're capping. Uh, are you joking? I wish I was. Oh. What the fuck are you <laughs> gonna yeah, fucking I'm snap, bro? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I can't, I can't even but dude. Watergate, like you, like you think Watergate was the good thing, and like Nick's, like what is going on? He, like the the scandal took him out of the presidency. Why do you think a criminal president was the last good president of the right? Why do you think that, Luis? He's thinking extra hard on this. <laughs> You're what? Oh man, you are like. Not making California look good, Luis. Mm -mm. Like, like right now, what you're doing explains why people are eating shit in the streets in San Francisco and then butt pumping their friend Paul around the corner. Oh. I'm sorry, but <laughs> like, <laughs> you need to go find Bernie Sanders. Oh my God, bro! These are the people. Like when people go, like, who votes for these fucking people? Mm. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna send Luis over your house. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. Is that a house? What is that? Oh. oh my god, dude. The water's up to the stop sign. Damn. What is that brick thing that's sitting there? Yeah, what is that? Oh, maybe a chimney blew off oh. and it's just sitting there. Yeah, it's a chimney. Yeah, that's it. You got that right, I'm Luis. I'll tell you that. Yeah, like a fan are, no, you're right. Like, are. like an entrance to a house with the two big brick things or the mailbox. I get what you're saying. That make okay. Yeah. I buy that. You see those here in California. 
This is crazy. Dude, look at this. This is crazy. We're looking at images from Hurricane. The hurricane has now become more interesting, obviously, uh, because the fight is over. And we a lot of people really believed it was rigged. You guys can vote in the chat down below or above there. Uh, the voting is still going on. Here's camera footage from a uh, from a flight Whoa. in the cockpit. Look at this. Oh, my oh, God. You can't see anything. These guys are fucking brave. Yeah. Oh, they're dumb. Yeah. They're motherfucking brave, man. I wouldn't be able to do that. Can't see nothing. Well, just they're uh, going off of the signal. Oh no, these are hurricane hunters. So they're actually trying to get oh. video of the storm and all these things. Oh, wow. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> well, dude, they're they're looking at the instruments. They ain't looking at the fucking at the uh, out the window. You know, yeah. they're they're looking. They're praying that their instruments are right. Right. Yeah, I know they make a lot of money. Hurricane hunters. They're hurricane hunters, otherwise known as morons. No, I'm just kidding. No, they're. <laughs> I really. What would you say, Louise? They are morons, but obviously we need to give them props. No, I I do. I'm kidding. I I think that's cool that they're 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 going crazy to to capture you know uh, Yo. data and video and here's another guy rocking out. Look at this guy. Oh my god, dude! This guy could oh. oh, dude! The wrong gust comes and pops him up into the air, and he's gonna <laughs> splat into a building, bro. Oh, <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, There's a metal song to this. <laughs> it's not. It's not that the wind is blowing. It's what the wind is blowing. <laughs> if you get hit by a yield sign. Like it's like, dude, something could come flying, and fuck the, and kill this guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, like a stop sign. Exactly, and that's the type of shit that would blow <laughs> off too. Like, what, what, what are you doing? My field reporters get raises mm. because they have to do their Hell job, yeah. even if it's raining. Yeah, see, I, like the medical people going out in this to rescue people—that's some insane shit. Did yeah. you ever see that one guy in the in the hurricane? He's like, it's so windy out here. And then you see like people across the street walking normally. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god, wait a minute. We guys, we have an alternate angle from the rock concert hurricane video from earlier. Look at this. Woo! Boom. <laughs> Little round off there. Almost didn't land it because of the wind. Right. On a curb. <laughs> On a curb, too. On a curb, oh, yeah. you're right. A lot of unpredictable that. shit going on right there, and he, and with the backpack on too. We didn't forget. We forgot that the guy had a oh, backpack yeah. oh. on. Everything's normal. Well, Chuck, you know, so far nothing crazy here. Obviously, the winds are pretty, uh, pretty f intense. 145 miles an hour, and we've been looking at these uh, buildings and we're just, oh, oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, the no, fucking no. buildings coming apart! Wow! Oh, one of the babies on the third floor went into the air. Somebody's mistake went in up into the air. <laughs> oh my Whoa. God. Oh my God. Oh my That's God. millions of dollars in damages there. Oh, and yeah, in Louisiana, mm -hmm. yeah. That roof is probably yeah, about yeah. five grand. Did you hear when that those that, that uh dude almost drowned and or his kids drowned or whatever and he couldn't save them? I was just like A lot of people Oh my god. I think Biden. I think Biden okay. turned on the weather machine, guys. I think I think Joe Biden and the United States of America turned on the weather machine. What do you guys think? Maybe right. I don't think it's global warming. I think they turned on the big magnetosphere that they took from the Germans in the forties, and that's why Biden wouldn't answer uh, about Afghanistan. Look, ready, Commissioner. I I really think it all works. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. What does that mean? I'm not right. supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. Nut job, Afghanistan? I'm not going to answer Afghanistan now. Can you see if they're still in a okay. risk? Listen. That's why he's not. I'll, I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm actually going to defend him. If we're dealing with a hurricane that's killing Americans, we got all this shit going on, and I'm dealing with Afghanistan too, but this is what's going on right now, and I'm addressing that, and you bring up Afghanistan... Fuck you. We're talking about the American people's lives in Louisiana right now. So I agree. I, mm. I, I'm going to defend him on that. However, I think he turned on the magnetosphere to detract from Afghanistan. Okay? How about that? Oh, yeah. 
Put I the, can get more publicity. Get the tinfoil hat on right now. Especially after the soldiers died. He's taking all kinds of heat. Hey. Mm. But then again, we are in the exact moment of the worst time during hurricane season. So, you know, <laughs> obviously Occam's razor. It's a fucking hurricane. Especially during COVID. What? Especially during COVID. Oh, Mark, oh, yeah. you, are, you are so brainwashed over there, Luis. <laughs> fucking crazy. Did you change your shit? Luis, Luis, you might kill people for the government. You ever think? You ever, have you ever had the CIA or FBI show up at your door to ask you to kill people? Nope. Well, get ready. It's coming eventually. I'm nah, telling you. you said that You're a perfect cool. fucking person for it. Hey, just go give this guy this pill. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think I should do that. Oh, he's a Trump supporter. Okay, I will then. Uh, yeah, you're you're working for the CIA in like two months. I'm telling you, yeah. Luis. Red pill he moved his pill? he moved his whole setup so he can look at his neighbor. Mm-hmm. You no, know, over oh. his computer. I know what's up. I know what's up, dude. Moonlighting, dude. They they made the Mississippi River flowed backwards today from the hurricane. What? Yeah, the Mississippi River b- flowed backwards from the spin of the hurricane blowing the way it did. It pushed the okay. fucking river. Like, is that where salmon go? Because just imagine their confusion. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, I'll, no, I'll tell you what. Uh, she's speaking of the river and the fucking ocean and everything else. Uh, yeah, this is the confusion. They're getting run over by the, sh- the people in the street are getting run over by the ship. The boats are coming ashore, baby. We've got two showing up right now. Oh, we one right into the other. Good God Almighty, no! It's bumper boats, three thousand. Fuck yeah. Wow, fucking bumper boats. Dude, these boats are cli- avoid it? These boats are climbing their way into people's lawns that are on the coast. Look at the boats, they just still going. Oh. Oh my god, bro. Well the people are probably gonna get fucking insurance to fucking Yeah, there goes that white fence. Yeah. So yeah, Holy they, shit. They're gonna get money to settlement and shit like that. White. It's a sue job right there. Everybody's gonna get sued. I I hope we have emerg- more emergency crews. There's so many, there's people stuck everywhere. This I mean we're joking, but this is so sad and fucked up, dude. There's people trapped in places. This is fucked, bro. I mean this is we can't even really take it that serious because it's so so sad that you can't even deal with that. I mean there's gonna be fucking hundreds of people dead tomorrow. You know, yeah. and this is crazy. Uh, category four now though I think. <laughs> Uh, in three and a half hours, landfall has only traveled 26 miles. That's an average speed of seven to eight miles an hour. It's just slowly pounding. Like, this is crazy. It's a strange and scary scene, Hurricane Ida. This is weird. Oh, my God, dude. I think this would this would blow my house down, I feel like. Dude, the noise even sounds scary. That looks. Yeah, cool. That yeah. sounds crazy. Yeah, I'd have to put on right. headphones or something, but I wouldn't because I'd be worried because I'm a dad and I'm in the fucking family. Ch- you know, I'm- if I was in a building by myself, I would probably throw headphones on, find the like st- the strongest part of the structure, go sit down and just like vibe right. it and listen. To- yeah, and just like okay. But if it was happening in my family, was in the building, I'd be fucking you know alert, be like, like man look- of the yeah. house, like yeah, like fucking- looking. You're looking around, like, all right, everybody get over there. So, like, watching yeah. out, getting, you know, just like you're paranoid. So, mm. I could, true, true. I'd be all wily and shit. <laughs> Look at that, dude. It looks like she's. Damn. It looks like she's riding. Damn. A, it looks like she's riding a train, looking out the window. But you're. That's a oh, she. I mean, I was something. like, look at those hands. How do you know? I thought well, that was a fucking elf. That might. Be. <laughs> 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 what are oh. The Hispanic guy thinks black people are elves now. Great. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Gremlin? I mean, it, it could be a guy. Back. You're right. I don't know why I said she. I just. The way they opened this window up was feminine. Let me see. Oh. I don't know. Maybe it is, a, it is a guy, I think. But maybe not. I don't know. Fuck it. There's a lot of shit going. Look at this. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, fuck. Damn. Holy shit, no, bro. This Man, is... dude, yeah, see, that's fucking crazy right there. Damn. Fucking... And then you see this Mexican dude just fucking swimming. <laughs> hey, it's like fucking 
Jack Jump in the river back in the day. <laughs> Do you remember the floods uh, from the hurricane about well, maybe six years ago, five years ago? And that listener of the show uh, was at work and his dog died and drowned in the flood because the kennel, the dog was in the kennel at home. No. We didn't know that part of it. We just knew he lost everything. We, remember, we raised donations for him. We gave the guy 400 bucks. It was way Man. back. Should have had some pontoons on that bitch. Well, but then Leah found out that he left his dog in the crate while he knew the hurricane was coming, and the dog died. Uh, and Leah, and Leah, Leah was like, "Fuck him! We gave him money. What a fucking asshole!" <laughs> like Jesus. And I'm like, we lost everything, even his dog. Must have had insurance on that dog. Right? Yeah. Probably okay, got some money. I lost it all. Yeah. Remember, we had a donation with it, like making. We we're like, help me! I lost it all. I do. I do. That was funny. Uh, that was a while back. <clears throat> Corbin. <clears throat> yep. So this hurricane is does it look as bad as Katrina? Because I'm looking at it and I'm just like, uh, it's kind of one and one. <laughs> no, I don't know, dude. We're... No, this looks worse than Hurricane Mitch mm. in nineteen ninety. Hurricane Bitch? I don't remember that. Dude, look at this. This is the news station at WGNO TV. Look at that water's coming into the ceiling. Yeah. Place is all jacked up. Nobody got a mask on. Nobody has a mask on, yeah. Well, it's Louisiana. Dude's though. got yeah, fucking cane. Nobody's galore. Nobody's got any life vest on. Nobody's got a life vest on. Yeah, that's a good point. Dude, this is the type of shit where like somebody tells you to put on a mask, you punch him in the face. You're like, oh fuck you. There's a fucking hurricane. <laughs> right. Really, electronic people. They're just like, oh fuck. <laughs> Especially with all those damages. You could make an argument that you would definitely want to protect yourself even more because you, there's no hospital to go to. There's no hospital if you get COVID. You know, you're on your own. So mm -hmm. that's a good point. Luis murdered. Oh, no. But then again, Luis is uh, brainwashed by uh, Pelosi. So Yeah, he murdered everybody. Well, that's, Dang that's one trailer. Oh shit, dude, that's... that looks fucked up. Trail... Like those, it's just how fucked up is it that you're like you look at your neighbors trailing, you're like, mm. oh, I'm gonna go have beers with, uh... right? <laughs> like, and, and your shit survives, and, and then your neighbors living with you. For yeah, years. all your it's shit's like... intact, but your neighbors oh. like lost their lives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, <that> <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, you want to come over oh. and drink a beer and talk about how you've lost everything or what? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, dude. It's so grim. Dude, this is real satellite video of the hurricane. What is that fucking blue shit? That's the that lightning. Storm? That's the lightning, yeah. God damn. Damn. Like some X Men shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's called um, yeah. what we call uh, weather. Uh, it's called weather, yeah. What is that uh, blue stuff like? Uh, I thought that was, I thought that was just like electrifying. Is that jitters. like a chemical reaction, bro? Th those lightning shots are literally the span of like an entire those county. Those are lightning strikes, right? Yeah, I know you know, Luis, but we you know, we already Dude, told you the I'm answer. Just a chemical fucking, and I'd mm. fuck that hole. Mm. <laughs> the <laughs> hole does look comfy, doesn't it? Mm, I mean, all that good. electricity. Fuck yeah. All nice and tight. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's constantly mm -hmm. spinning. And it's oh. swirling inward, so therefore you're getting, <laughs> yeah. a, you're getting a constant pull. The yeah. wind is blowing. <clears throat> now, was, is this a street? Oh, it is a street. Whoa. Oh, yeah. fuck. Motel Deep Six. <laughs> oh, Jesus. shit. All the fucking prostitutes are stranded. Let's go save Thanks, them. Thanks, Now you made a... <laughs> Take that, sewer rats. Friend. Ida is now a Category One hurricane. It's still killing. That's that's really good though, right? Because uh, it's down to one. No, that is good. Yeah, because it's continuously dropping. So man, it's gotta when, be about four states away. That when way. it hit Port Forshawn or whatever the fuck that is, it, it, it was one fifty miles an hour. One hundred and fifty. Wow. It luckily it slowed down after that. Obviously, oh my god, bro, this shit was crazy. Some of the videos are just nuts. I'm looking at them right now. I'm looking at a lot of them on YouTube. <clears throat> Whatever's being posted. Oh Some my people God. that are live, and they it sucks. So much for the levees, bro. They just went. 
Well, we all knew that was going to happen, though. Like I said, love you, Zuri. What about the Superdome? Is anybody shitting in it yet? Dude, that's not till next week or tomorrow, or whatever, right? <laughs> right. Mm. Look at this. Everybody's floating around dead. Hey, Louise, who was that? This is crazy, dude. So, whoa. How? If all the, oh, shit. And find these type of card sleeves at Target. Mm-hmm. Please buy them all out. Yeah, this is, Yo, um, we- this is, uh, this is the res- This is the 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 search team, like the the Cajun Navy. So these are just the these are just volunteers looking Cajun look, looking Navy. For you. I don't know. They call themselves the Cajun Navy, I guess. <laughs> oh, do they really? Yeah, no, no, they do. They're not smart ass. Yeah, they're just fucking. I don't know. They're like volunteers. They're not even checking that fucking that truck fucking to see if anybody drowned Boudreaux's. in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're just going crazy, bro. The fuck? They're literally Ucho. trying to just get like, drugs delivered across dude, town. If you were in that truck, I mean, you'd want to be out of it and probably in the bed at least. Hell yeah. Yeah, with the water that high, I'd probably bail. Yeah, I'd bail. Just I'd be creeped out. Yeah, I'd be. Oh, yeah, an... uh, you'd you'd want to like, and you'd probably look around and be like, "Are there any power lines down here in the water?" Like. And that too. <laughs> Dude, in that yeah, and you want to get to fucking know if something's there, fucking slithering around your fucking feet. That too, yeah. Electrical and shit, or fucking Dude, there's animals. This guy leaning forward, and he's getting blown back. I'm watching. They probably cut the power. It's probably out anyway. Actually, to be honest, if they didn't cut it at that point, but who knew the who power the lines went down? Fuck. Wow. That's- Crazy shit, dude! They lost a satellite. They got to the- They got to cut it when they get notified. That's the thing. So if it just comes down, that motherfucker's dangling right there in the water, and you go by it, Dunkachino? right? You don't off. mind if I do. What's my name? Dunkachino. It's Black Hog. Dunkachino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. I hate the young bucks more than anyone. FN midgets. What? What? Oh my god. I the hate the young bucks? I hate the young bucks. F those vanilla midgets. Says Black Hog. Wow. What's up, Black? Look at this. Really like fucking- <laughs> what are these guys doing? Did you find that? I'm watching guys do push-ups in the street. I hope Ed Asner is in heaven giving his big blue oh. grunt to Mary Tyler Moore. Soon Betty White can join them in three-way. I have a pole oh. joke. Oh. Oh. Louise voice or the Holocaust? Ida must be Scorpion's fan. <laughs> She's rocking Nola like a hurricane. Louise, this guy chose the Holocaust Louise over your voice. Ed Asner. Yeah, did you Ed kill Asner. Ed Asner? Did you kill him? He's, no. he's saying that you killed Ed Asner. I think there's... I heard of the Egyptian gods. <laughs> the Egyptian <laughs> gods? No, this is a... I'm just kidding. This is a 90-year-old fat white man. You know you know that Mary Tyler Moore didn't like Ed Asner as Lou Grant at first. Oh, really? Yeah, well, there's like was an interview a, Wasn't she kind of a bitch? I'm going to try to watch all without reaching <laughs> my eyes. If Riddle's on, I'll watch no more near Jax or the even 70s. Marie. Tomorrow I'm gonna to try to watch Raw. Yeah, I mean, listen, we're, we're I'm gonna watch Raw no matter what, and it's gonna be terrible. I mean, we know it's gonna be mm-hmm. bad. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's inevitable. Thank you, Fear. Fear has been dropping bombs tonight. I think he might be at a hundred bucks. Yeah. Didn't WWE announce that they were gonna go back to New Orleans? WWE? Yeah, I'm sure what? they will. Maybe it's not there anymore, but they're going back to Texas this this year. Next year. Yeah, they'll be next year. Texas, Louisiana, Florida. I don't know. I, WrestleMania. Oh my, god. oh, my God. Imagine if they have to tell Ticketmaster, hey, uh, I, we know what's going on. I guess you should just refund these people. Hmm. You know, no, what, they, right now? Shows canceled? Yeah, that'd be crazy. I don't think they're, I don't think they sold tickets yet, though. So I don't think that's a problem. So are you going to fly to WrestleMania? Me? Yeah. Hell no. 
right <laughs> exactly you're like fuck that let's go to all out no unless i unless i'm booked for some event like i was that time i wouldn't go anywhere i now maybe you know, I, you know obviously if it came back to boston for some reason i'd go or new york i might go out to new york no, not this year though probably a couple of years from now uh i'm staying on the down low the covid down low that's what i'm doing I'm yeah, still waiting for AEW to let's, come around my city. Let, let's sit it out. Let's sit the rest of 2021 out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was obvious it was going to be taking a few years for this shit to go away. So, yeah, this year has been better than last year. Was it? I mean, as far as the COVID shit, yeah. yeah. I already lost track of the numbers. And it, oh, wait, I never gave a shit about the numbers. Yeah, I watching <laughs> yeah. The, a little under six hundred sixty thousand. Let me see here. Oh no! Uh, so that's that guy. I don't think it's six hundred sixty thousand, but mm. um, and people are still not wiped off the earth yet. So, dude, hashtag rigged is trending. Rigged Raid? is trending. Rigged. Oh, rigged. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, uh, it was. We all knew it was gonna happen. <clears throat> We just That's want funny. to see him get knocked out. That's all it is. Yeah, so I really wanted to see that, and it didn't happen. He doesn't have doubters. He has haters that want to see him get knocked out. All right, let's Hate. see here. Yeah. Did you say, he all, all right, Hep C here? Is that what you just said? <laughs> all right, Hep C here. I had Hep C. I don't have it anymore. Most of the people don't even know who that guy is I'm making fun of. Joe, am I on right. TikTok? Yes, I am on TikTok at Joe Cronin Show or something like that. Um, what the fuck, you TikTok? Bro? I'm on TikTok hey, now, making no, weird videos. Not. I had to go on my. I had to go like, well, what's this? Oh, the fire department. Like tornado no. warning in. Uh, now there's tornado warnings. That's always fun. After the hurricane in the same area. Yeah. <laughs> Lightning storms bring tornadoes, so. We had we had that here. Snapchat. We we had one land uh, in Oxford, dude. We had one when when that when that hurricane came here and it didn't hit really and it died. The, uh, then a tornado touched down in Oxford, Mass. 20 minutes away almost. I was like, "Oh, they <laughs> tornado touchdown." Jeez. Tornado touchdown. Uh yeah, it's a oh, tornado. Yes. DDT. Yeah. Tornado DDT there. Okay, what were you? Well, a hey, hey, uh, but you know what? Where, hey, uh, Luis? Where's your where's your global warming? Because I still think Katrina was more devastating. Shouldn't this should be more devastating, uh, Luis? Damn, Luis, you got called out on that. Yeah, shit. what's going on here? I don't mind being called out. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Or or fucked in the ass. Okay, so. As of August 30th, which is oh, tomorrow. March right on. <laughs> we have an emergency uh, call. Million deaths worldwide. Emergency yeah. COVID. Right. I, I mean, because of COVID. And there'll be uh, and there'll be about uh, 20 million deaths of heart disease. And yeah. there'll probably be about. And you'll eat McDonald's tomorrow, I bet. And Matt Jonathan will still you be alive. You know me very well, Joe. I know, because I'm like you. Mm -hmm. I'm eating it, too. Let's I'm just kidding. I'm going to have know. a homemade chicken. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to eat. Yeah, homemade chicken would be... That's a really good thing to eat. No doubt about that. Let's listen to an emergency call to uh, stoke our spirits, everybody. So it, 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 it overtopped seven and a half feet. You know, that, was the, that was the final dagger. Oh. You know, it, it really turned into... A, Wait, what do you say? The final... What? A rescue mission. Jesus. And also that we had to we had to try to save what was left of the town, where the, the people these kids go to school and uh, where they get ma married here and, and uh, where so many people live and uh, like hell that the saving the levee protection, but at the end uh, the the water just won out. And we, Yo, we've never in the history of the scene we stopped a bad bad flooding, but we've we've never seen water like this. It is uh it is the worst storm in our history. Wow, you said you, you've shit. lost the school. Ah. What other building? You become... Uh, 200 people oh, are trapped in imminent danger, it says. Did That's you see the Nick up. Khan interview on BT mm. Sports? Um, Moss Blaze. What up, Moss Blaze? 
I, it, um, I don't know. I saw the interview where he said that they wished Raw was four hours or something like that. I saw that. I haven't seen... I don't know if yeah, it was BT Sports. Shit. Yeah, let me know if that's the same one. If it's the same one, I saw it. I just didn't know it was there. If it's a new one, then no. Let yeah, me know. Whoever was talking right now, it sounded like fucking Tommy's fucking cousin. Well, it probably sounded like someone Tommy's cousin would hang, but um, let's just... Hey, uh, no. I'm just kidding. Uh, did, you, did you hear uh, Nick Khan was, was trying to push for a fourth hour? Yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, yeah, we'd love a fourth hour because he'd make more money. He doesn't care about the content. He's just like, we make a bunch of extra money. And you, and you know WWE yeah. doesn't care about the content. They care about the money. So that's obvious. Of course they want four hours. And guess what? Yeah. USA Network would draw a bigger rating. they draw a bigger rating than whatever was on in that fourth hour. So they would do it too. <laughs> Hell, you put it on seven hours, you make even more money. Oh. Would just say that saying uh, Khan's name with the word Nick in front of it, make sure you have that pause. Yeah, make sure you <laughs> pause and then say Khan. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're Don't saying. Look a little close. God damn it. Mm. I you smell what you're saying. There's, there's a lot of people now. It's hard to figure out what's a scam and not, but there's all kinds of PayPal me here on Twitter going on. We need a place to stay. We're trapped. All kinds of things. So it, it's it sucks because... Um, you know, a lot of people would probably help out, but there's so many scammers too doing it that it's like people are probably wary of that as well. But uh, yeah, of course, you want to help people oh. though, so it's. Joe, you... I just saw this fucking sign get ripped off from the hurricane. Like, really? It's like a, mm. a forty foot sign. Damn. You know, it'd be it good. Hurricane, stop fucking around. You know, it'd be really good is if you could register on some kind of charity site where where it like it. It proves where you live and knows where you live. That way, you could get some assistance, like without with verified or whatever. I don't know. That was just a weird thing I thought of on the top of my head. But I uh, listen. Some money orders? I don't know. Something like that. I don't fuck. I'm 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 tired of shit. I've been out all day. Listen, I'm gonna wrap it up because I've we stayed on late. I was gonna go live for two hours, three hours, and we we've been live for over four hours. So, listen, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody being here tonight. I had a lot of fun. This is very sad what's going on in Louisiana. Uh, this fight was sad. Very, like, WWE worked Ooh. at the end, I got to believe. Yeah. yeah. It is what we yeah, thought it would be. Thank you, guys. Bullshit fucking fight. I knew it was going to be worked, but I was hoping that we'd see a knockout. I agree. I would have liked to see yeah. a knockout. Any Duncan knockout. Chino? Don't mind if I oh, do. Oh. Oh, What's my Chino. name? Duncan Chino. It's a whole new game. Duncan Chino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Dynamite is gonna rise in the ratings. I feel like part of the reason why AU isn't drawing more than two mil on Dynamite or Rampage at least is because of the fact that the mainstream audience usually watches WWE or just don't watch wrestling anymore. Yeah, I mean, the mainstream audience has shrunk a lot. We've I've talked about this every week, you know. The mainstream audience is shrunk. I mean, hell, even CM Punk, I thought... I mean, I was worried he wouldn't draw enough. And he drew much less than I thought, even. Like, I can't believe how little he drew on Dynamite. But, uh, listen, uh, we like watching Dynamite, so let's hope that it goes somewhere, man. I mean, I don't know. Boys, I'm out of here. Thank you, Garguts. All right, man. Thanks for having us, Joe. Joe. Danny Later. MT tonight, baby. Danny MT was my fight wingman. Luis, Mikel, Ryan the Heel. What's up, Luis? Not what? much, Joe. Oh, you're just saying bye? Oh, Mikel, kiss his brother. Always I love you. Pleasure, Joe. Always a pleasure. No more in the hurricane right. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm not in the hurricane. Yeah, I hope everybody's okay. Uh, Let us know. Can I drop you off in the hurricane, uh, Mikkel? <laughs> I know, man. I appreciate it. Listen, I love you, man. I'm pre We're thinking about it. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, so I won't do family. that. Yeah. Are they are they are they okay? Or they did they get out of there? Or they did they ride it out? They got no power now. They got no power. Yeah, yeah shit. Well, there's no a million power. people without power right now. So pray for my 
Can be. Oh, well, everybody pray for Mikel's family, man. I'm sorry, dude. Let us know. I hope they're okay. Uh, the, the, now, the hurricane has gone down to a Category 1, so that's good that it's kind of gone yeah, now. It's... I've been watching it all night. You've been watching it? Yeah. CNN? It's fake TV. <laughs> you go good. Oh, <laughs> you you could have said that faster. It's I love you guys. Just... Listen, I love you guys. It is a scary thing, man. I hope everybody's okay. We have a lot of people that I have not heard from uh, who are out there, so I hope they reach out to me. I am actually worried about some people because I didn't talk to them before this happened, so fucking it's weird. Uh, good night, guys. I'm out. Um, I'll see you tomorrow for uh, everything. Thank you so much, man. Wow. Whew, this is a rough one out there, man. This is crazy. Thank you to everybody who's dropping donos tonight and having fun, hitting the likes, subbins. And Fear Equals Pain, who has dropped the top dog with $50 and dropped about $100 or something. He was amazing with donations, man. Thank you so much, Fear. Most Blaze. Uh, we got uh, Louis Murder, Black Hog, D. Welsh. And uh, we got Vax on Wax, Big G, Joe Jones, Pico Cum on Mrs. Paul's Tits. We got James Mesner, Lockdown King, Juice Man Smith, Mr. X, Brett Campbell, Category 5 with the dono, and 6, 6 is back on the Patreon. 6, 6, 6. Good night, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And it looks like people really think the fight was rigged. 228 votes. 75% say yes, it was rigged. Share this video everywhere. Send it to your parents, friends, Facebook, and shove it up people's ass. I'm Joe Cronin. Follow me on Twitter, JCS Commentary. And, of course, the Patreon, if you guys want to support us, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Hit the like button and fist yourself.